what you know about inscription <clears throat> that um it's half card game half escape room maybe i don't know i saw like a trailer of it one time when we were doing one of the uh what you call it streams what you call it streams a skate room escape room one of the game events uh, and that's it I don't know anything else okay one second let me set my windows because I don't know if it's gonna let me alt tab out a lot of anxiety chat give me a second volume okay right now how excited are you to playing armored core i'm not really excited at all for armored core i'm just playing it because from software is making it and i'll pretty much check out anything they make although you know if they announced elder ring 2 i'd be like eh. if they announced dark souls 4 i'd be like Eh, if they announced Sakura 2, I'd be like, holy shit, Pog. If they announced Bloodborne 2, I'd be like, holy shit, Pog. But, you know, like, Armored Core. I don't know, we'll see. I hope I like it. Oh crap, I hit my keyboard. Uh, let's get the game on and see if we can all tab out. OBS reckon. Oh, Steam's not on. God damn it. Path of Exile players, Sanctum is back and it still sucks, huh? That's fun. They somehow made it worse. Let's put rares in it. That's fun. That's that's great. Are you going to be streaming Starfield? I am, yes. I don't know if we're going to finish it, but yeah. Are you not streaming GamesCon? I didn't even know there was a GamesCon. Is there a GamesCon today? I don't think we're going to be streaming games con no. Okay, can you all see the press play button? Excuse me. Oh. Yeah, all right, let's press it and get to the main menu. Um I made I saw this earlier, so I got this I got to the main menu. Sorry, spoilers. Here we go. Daniel Mullins Games. It's the guy who made um, Binding of Isaac, right? Okay. Time to figure out what's on this thing. Right. I hate it already. I hate it already. Inscription. The lost NES game. Press any button to start. I don't have an any button. Alright. Uh, I also saw that you have, to, you have to drag or click and click to get to options. Alright, so this is all I've seen. I, I didn't I didn't press uh, press new game. Is it too loud? Are we okay? Noise effect? I think we want a little noise effect, don't we? Chat, why you gotta force them to play games he clearly doesn't want to? My weeb, I chose this. I want to play this game. This, this is, this is a me decision. I'm just really tired. It 
Anyway, I'm sorry. Noise, yes or no? Any comments on the ongoing poll? Uh, it's very unexpected. Because I didn't know there was an ongoing poll. Yes? Okay. Uh, what about sound? Bear with me. I ordered a coffee from the Lily Cafe. Pause window. Pause when window not focused. What's this? Uh, yes, I guess. All right. Ooh. The notary game. The notary game. The no 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 notary game. Hours of fun. Hours of fun. Uh, Flickr FX? Probably also on. Alright, so that's that. How do I... I'm done? I want to end? Alright, credits, quit, and we have new game and continue. Can I not pick a new game? Oh, that's interesting. Getting... Getting uh, jiggy with it already, I see. Alright. That's cool. <clears throat> anyway, before we get into it, um, I'm on the, like, possibly the worst run of sleep in my life. I don't, I don't know, I don't want to keep bitching about sleep because, like, I feel like this is a recurring thing. I don't know what's going on. The past six months or so, I've gotten progressively worse and worse and worse, worse and worse. So, I I don't I don't know what to say anymore. So just apologies if I say something stupid, but yeah, I I like I I don't even know how to, how to describe it. I was having a dream last night where I was like shoulder tackling slash slamming into a door in my in my dream and every time that i made contact with the door i would wake up doing that exact same motion and at the point of contact of me shoulder slamming my mattress and then i would and then i would rev up and shoulder slam the mattress and then when my shoulder hit the mattress i would be back in the dream hitting the door it was like a match cut and it just kept happening over and over and over and over and over again. Like, back to reality, back to the dream, back to the reality, back to the dream, back to the... I don't know how that works, but yeah, that's, that's what I did. Um, there have been multiple times in the past week, this, this last week has not been very nice. Multiple times in the past week, I've said something to Lily, and then I've said, Oh wait, hold on, that didn't actually happen, I dreamt that. So, that's fun. I got a lot of rendering done though, and I got I watched some movies. I watched Matrix Four. It sucked. It was really bad. It was really really bad. And I watched um, the Batman, and I thought that was pretty good. I got to the scene in. <laughs> I was very amused when I got to the scene that the meme is from, does he know? <laughs> and I was there and I'm like, and I'm like, I'm waiting for the moment for when I understand why it's a meme and why that happens. And I'm like, and I'm there and I'm like, why is that a meme from this scene? And then, and then it happened and I'm like, oh, that's why. And I was very amused. <laughs> I was very amused. <laughs> But uh, overall, I liked I liked the movie quite a bit. I thought it was a pretty good movie. Although both both Matrix Four and um, the Batman had the issue with I didn't really feel like any fight scene was really all that great. What what is it with fight scenes and not being great in more recent movies? I don't know. It was just like eh, you know. And so I wonder if I went back and watched the Nolan Batman movies, if I would like any of the fight scenes in that one. The the truck flip is a pretty cool scene. John Wick 4 um, was great. I haven't seen John Wick 4.
this is oh yeah there was a poll i'm sorry what was the poll hold on let me let me alt tab out oh it, it did pop you know what let's turn that off i want the music to continue while i'm alt tabbed out why is that in the sound how about breaking bad or better call saul what about them I've seen Breaking Bad, I haven't seen Better Call. I haven't seen Better Call Saul. No. Shout out to the, to the epic stream moment like a year and a half ago or two years ago when um, I, I said, you know, it, it was this this many years after watching finishing watching Breaking Bad that I finally realized that, that Saul Goodman is a pun on Saul Goodman. It took that long for me to realize. Succession? No. I haven't seen I haven't seen Succession no. I hear it's pretty good. Poll was closing closing chat during stream. Sixty nine percent chat say chat should be closed. Nice. I personally don't think you need to, but those there's oh they want people want me to close chat like it's Outer Wilds. Uh. Okay, I'm so tired that if I close chat, I might legitimately fall asleep. <laughs> If I, if I don't have chat to remind me that I'm streaming, <laughs> I might, like, legitimately fall asleep. <laughs> this, oh, yeah, Discord announcement. All right, one second. Are you going to do a watch along for the games kind of No, I don't think, I don't think we're going to do that, no. It's okay. No, nothing good's going to get announced. I just mil misspelled inscription three times. Streaming inscription right now on Twitch will be streaming AC6 on Friday for at least one stream. There you go. And if it's if it's it's open, not locked. How's it going, Lily? Has the circus calmed down, or is it still? It's a little bit calmer, but it's, um, it's still not good. Okay. I'm waking up a little bit. Thanks. Just careful, I spilled it a little bit on the way up, so. And then I had a little too full and stuff. What is it? Hmm? What is it? It's a French press. It's French, and you spilled some? Yeah. Go get a syringe. I want it topped up. What are you doing? What do you think this is? I need all Sorry. the, I need all the coffee I can get. No, it's okay. Thank you. How is Finn's Dark Soul? Well, hold on, it scrolled up. Finn Dark Souls update. Uh, he's not playing Dark Souls much right currently. He beat Ornstein and Smo. Uh. At least a week ago, it was like like the. the no, I know exactly when he beat it because. <laughs> so, do you remember, do you remember when, I t when I told you all that if if he beat it first try, he would have a second birthday. <laughs> so that when when he did not beat it first try, his birthday was on the fifteenth of August. Um, when he didn't beat it first try, a couple days before that, um, the deal changed to. He doesn't get a birthday unless he beats it. <laughs> so, all of August 14th. <laughs> you, you better beat that fight or else you don't get your birthday. <laughs> um, I And I, I told them, like, you know, a, like an hour after making the joke that, he, like, I'm kidding. Um, and that was, like, early on in the day, like, like around noon. Uh, and then... Uh, at like 11 o'clock, um, he, he beat the fight. 11 p.m., he beat Ornstein and Smo. Um, so yeah, after that, he played it a little bit more. He got to Painted World. He has proclaimed that the rematch against the Asylum Demon is way harder than Ornstein and Smo, which I completely disagree with, but that's what he did. He went to the Painted World, he got through the Painted World, 
And since then, he hasn't played it much. He has instead been playing, because it came out on Switch, Vampire Survivors. He loves Vampire Survivors. He's been playing that. I love hearing Joe shenanigans with his kid. <laughs> A couple days ago, I told him that we've, we've been lying to him his whole life and that we don't actually live in Canada and we actually live in Australia. <laughs> Because he's, he's terrified of Australia because of the spiders, and he never wants to go there. So I, so I told him that, you, Finn, you're already there. What do you mean? Joe, what the He didn't believe me. You think I would I would do that to him, and he, and he, uh, and I think he would actually believe me? He didn't believe me. He didn't believe me. You end up giving him trust issues. I, I, I know my boy. I know my boy. Don't worry. Although, hey, he needed to be, he needed to be, you know, taken down a peg. All right. Like I took him to the video game store for his birthday and he got to pick any game he wanted. And do you know what game he picked? Pikmin 4. All right. Pikmin 4. Ba yeah, based. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, based. Based, yeah. Based in Pikmin pilled. Oh, anyway, um, so thank you to the following people. Some some people streamed. Uh, some people streamed. Some people streamed while I was while I was gone. Some people subbed while I while stream was gone for a bit. Um, I only see back two days, so if you, there was more than that, so sorry, uh, it, it doesn't show up. If there's a way for me to see that, I can go back and say thank you, but, um, we're starting from two days ago, and I'm going to say thank you to a bunch of people. Uh, Toj Bree. Toj Bree. Brain Bucketer. New subs. These are interesting names. Two days ago. Uh, and then earlier today, Manic Derek. And then... Right before stream started, Zargi, and then since the stream has started, thank yous to the following people. First one's a tier tier three sub. Thank you, Last Isis, for the tier tier three sub. Thank you, Chud two one one two. Insert disc five. Awful farful. Be dazzling dazzler. Ch oh no! Didn't I say this right once? And so now I can't do it. Chibura. Chibur Ashchika. Oh god. Hopefully Chibura. There you go. Chibura. Chibura. Thank you. <sighs> Renzo S -A M Z. Or some say Z. Kip S. Crude Oil. Smorgaborg. Nero Blue. Mr. Du Bois. Kidney Automata. Bill Nye the Senpai Guy. Hyper Cuban. Sustre. Ah, now I see. Waking up a bit now. Waking up a bit now. That first hit of coffee, man. The Bibsy. Jan Soft, 88. I feel like that's a reference to something. Argent Mash. Argent Mash? One of those? Ale Larsum. Mython665. Karl Marx is literally me. Evans111. Kalice. Dalmec for some bits. No jokes this time. Hope you have fun. I hope I have fun too. I hear this game's really good. Quantum065 for the resub. Resubs are back. Thank you, Madbake. Cahill555. Balder. Lemons X. Mystery Deco. Sandy0804. Thank you for the new sub from Slingshot Nick. Resubs continue with Cringy Corin. Resubs are over. Now we're on bits. Thank you, Zero Vault, for the bits. Resubs are back. Lily is tilted. True. She beat. Thank you, Fader Moon, for the new sub. It's not Fatter Moon, is it? It's probably Fader Moon. She is the one Fader Moon. Thank you very much. Thank you, Vanny227, for the resub. Also to XX, my lord. Burndy777. 
Thank you to overact. No, overreactive potato, not overactive potato. Overreactive potato. I think I had one of those from Wendy's the other day. An overreactive potato. Thank you very much. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, Graf Franzula for the resub. Deal seven as well. Drusta, Real Quaid, Durkashid, Jabba. Jabba Dabba Do, one, two, three, one. Got, I got there, I got there. Thank you, Curly Ray, as well. Serepidus, Purry Meow, Ram Guts, Mimi the Yumi. Thank you, Seraph Archive, for the new sub. Welcome, welcome. There are a lot of subs and resubs. Thank you so much. Thank you, it's Matthew McCarter, as well. Jahions, it's Shesh, King33411, Burmese Battle Rat. That's a cool name. One, two, three, E, Po, Po. E, Path of Exile, Po. Thank you, Da Balder, for the resub. It's my third sub anniversary on the planet where years are 15 months long. I knew you weren't from here. I knew it. Thank you, Starchfish, for the resub. Thank you, Violent Saren, as well. Unwashed Reptile. Nellicopter, with a tier 2 resub. Thank you very much, Nellicopter. I'm just saying names. Just saying names. Thank you, Somnus Gwent for the resub. Smear. Zorn Twitch for the new sub. Welcome, welcome. Nellicopter also gave out some subs. Thank you, Ranch Nellicopter. Glure or Glore resubbed as well. Thank you to Spark Quiver. Jungle Raba. Rogerson Raj. Thank you, I Swag Genesis for the new sub. Yeah, I'm saying that right. I Swag Genesis. And the last set on my list is. Backfish friend, I think, or fr friend in a language I don't know. Speedy Emperor, no seven email, knows a mill. I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. I feel like I've said that wrong a couple times now. Wave of thought, a goober has subscribed for the first time. Thank you very much, a goober. Welcome, also, welcome to Robin or Ruben Geo Freaks. <laughs> All right, I like that. Geo Freaks for the resub. And thank you, last but not least, to Blin26 for the resub. Thank you very much. Uh, someone asked in chat during that, are we going to alternate between Starfield and Armored Core 6? Um, like, Starfield's not out for a couple weeks, isn't it? I think we'll have time to finish. Arm Armored Core is not going to be that long. I need you to play Dishonored 2. You gotta vote for it. You gotta vote for it. Excited to see you play. I don't think uh, I don't think I'm gonna enjoy Armored Core, but I hope I uh, hope I do. You can read it as number seven email or no seven email or not email. Don't matter much. All right, I will see if I remember that. Number seven email. All right. Armored Core is one of the more those more replayable games. First playthrough should be quick. Yeah, but it's not out yet. <laughs> How do you know? Do all do all the armor cores share the same structure? Like this is like people know, fans know what it's gonna be. Yeah? Okay. I saw some guy on the on the uh, launch trailer today say something like can't wait to play this masterpiece. You know? Oh, that was a good squeak. Cher, are you a fan of Armored Core? Were you a mech in a past life? Ooh, okay. Why is everything a masterpiece now? Uh, because of Donkey. Jer, are you okay? No, not really, to be honest. No, not really. Alright, should we play the game? So you can't, you can't do new game. Is sound okay, by the way? I, I feel like people would have been complaining, so I think it's fine. So we have to continue. Continue. You're finally away. A 
another challenger. It has been ages. So this is this is Jumanji. Perhaps you have forgotten how this game is played. Allow me to remind you. Play the squirrel card. I don't want to. Okay, fine. Now play your stoat. Oh, I have to use the keyboard? God damn it. Okay. I mean, this, does the squirrel get a say? Stoats cost one blood. Sacrifices must be made. An honorable death. Play the stoat. Wolves require two sacrifices. You don't have enough. Ring the bell to end your turn and commence combat. Your stoat stands unopposed. The number on the bottom left is the attack power one. Okay, th this is like... This is a fake out, right? This isn't going to be the whole game, right? Like, this, we're like, ha 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 ha, you thought it was a card game, but really here's the real game, right? Okay. Your stoat dealt me one damage. I added it to the scale. If you win, you tip my side all the way down. Like this. Oh, it looks like I won. My turn. Uh-oh. Coyote. Your stoat stands in the way of my coyote. How come you didn't have to do a blood sacrifice for your coyote? Oh, this is just super auto pet. My coyote dealt two damage to your stoat. That means your stoat's health is two less. If a creature's health reaches zero, it dies. It's your turn again. You may draw from your deck, or you may draw a squirrel. What do you mean? Oh, so I can... I can draw back from my my graveyard, or I'm gonna draw from the deck. How reckless of you! What do you mean, River Snapper? Uh oh! To play that wolf, you need to sacrifice two different creatures. Oh, I can look around. Okay, I, I can I can kill the coyote for sure, right? Okay, because you are learning, I will pass. Well, that's very nice of you. You've drawn all the creatures from your deck. A squirrel is your only choice. You dealt one damage, so I put one weight on the, on the scale. You know you can play more than one card per turn, right? No, no, I can't. These require blood. I don't have it. Oh, this is just this is just the squirrel pile. It's not the graveyard. Okay. All right. What's River Snapper is one to six. I think I want a wolf. You've won this match. They won't all be so easy. Let me recall your story. Oh yes. You were lost deep in the forest. All right, is it is it meant to be this quiet? It's very quiet, chat. Kinda, yeah. Okay. Do, 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 do. Uh, thank you to Mr. Mrs. Mr. for the resub. Thank you, Paulo to Gaming, also for the resub. Thank you, Reginald Romulus for the new sub. Salt and Peppa 07 for the resub. Cro oh, oh, Mila. I think Lily will hear, but if she doesn't, I'll, I'll go and help Mila. Thank you, Chronotacular, also for the resub. Positive Player here for the resub. Oh, don't backseat. Thank you, Zelante, also for the resub. Bar Thumberto for the resub. Kuna Moroku, I think. Captain Jamesy. CDML86 Commandal86. And JCell for the resubs. Thank you very much. Alright. You were lost deep in the forest. A single path revealed itself. 
Two denizens of the forest approach you tentatively. Okay, do I have to pick one? Let's go right. The Undying Cat, sacrificing the poor beast does not kill it. Oh, that seems like a really good card. Let's get that one. What about this one? Can I flip both? The Caustic Adder, damage from its poison bite is always lethal. What? Only one may grace your paltry deck. Okay, well, that's pretty good. From, I remember from Hearthstone, but like, I can kill this once a turn to get blood. I feel like all my cards have blood, so I feel like I should get the cat. Many lives. When a, when a card bearing this, this sigil is sacrificed, it does not perish. Okay. I want it. Yeah. Another creature joins your caravan. Some of the creatures of the forest seemed willing to follow you. You came across an abandoned sack. You found a squirrel in a bottle. Break in case of emergency. And have a second. And a third. Another useful implement. I'll allow you to tip the scales with it. What? Woo! Three is as much as you can carry. Okay. Okay. You were ambushed while crossing some rough terrain. Stump, stump, boulder. That's a nice boulder. <laughs> you didn't sacrifice me? How kind. Maybe you'll help me. Take your... T Play along for now. You're all seeing him talk too, right? You may now see my moves ahead of time. Oh, that's very nice of you. Alright, I'm playing the cat. I'm, I'm, I'm totally playing the cat. You are lacking sacrifices for the cat. Oh, you have to sell the cat requires blood to get on the board? Here we go. All right. All right. I have, I have, I have, I have the blood. What, what am I not understanding here? Oh, it has to come from two different sources. These are not two blood tokens. Oh, okay. All right. I feel like I get it now. All right, let's go. Mind the ambitious wolf cub. It ages swiftly. Okay, this card is talking to me, so I don't want to sacrifice it. Um, You know what? Squirrel time. Squirrel early, squirrel often. All right, let's squirrel it away. And then we do the, the cat. Aha, there, it's going so well. Oh man, it's going so well. All right, here we go. The airborne bat flies over creatures to attack directly. Well, that's not very nice. Ha, my bat flew right over your cat. All right, what about the cow? Let's take a card. Wolf, well, this sucks. Oh, I can sacrifice the turtle to replace it with a wolf. Oh. Oh. Wait, do they do they attack, like, up? Oh, they do. Oh, shit. Can I move it once it's gone? Okay, you know what? You're looking pretty good to kill right now. I'm not going to lie. You know what? Let's... Emergency squirrel? Oh no! We, there's nowhere to put it, put the squirrel on the board. How do I how do I tip the scale? You know what? Let's fuck it. Let's just go. All right, all right. You know what? I feel like we take a squirrel. We take a squirrel. We take a squirrel, and then and now now we can get our wolf on the board. All right, there we go. All right, you're gonna you're gonna kill you're gonna kill the bat, right? I think we're gonna find out. We're gonna find out. Should I tip the scale? I feel like, I feel like we're screwed. What does this do? Uh, uh, a well-earned point of damage. 
I didn't think you would really do it. Lamayo? Okay. Alright, so if they attack up, you're gonna deal one point of damage. You're gonna kill the wolf. You're gonna kill the stump. And then you're gonna kill me. But if they don't, if they block, let's see. Ah, it is like that. Okay. Alright. It, it, it do be like that. Alright, well, this sucks. This sucks. <laughs> It's it's not going well. <laughs> Alright, do I wanna do I wanna sacrifice the turtle for another wolf to do even more damage? I think we do. I think we do. Alright, here we go. Alright. Alright, here we go. Hopefully this will tip the scales back. Alright, alright, we did it! All right. Yeah. All right. You prevailed and trekked onwards past the new, the now bloody terrain. All right. So positioning matters quite a lot. All right. I'm learning. All right. The young wolf cub. It grows into a wolf after a single turn. Oh. Okay. The Meek Sparrow, an inexpensive, if feeble, flying creature. Alright. You know what? I feel like flying creatures aren't that great. Like, one damage that bypasses everything is pretty fun. But, you know what? I feel like they're not that great. I feel like I'd, I think I'd rather have a wolf cub that grows into a wolf for one. Because that synergizes with our cat. Although, I gotta say, I feel like having the cat on the fucking board forever is kind of a trap. <laughs> I'm going wolf cub. Super wolf, yep. It synergizes with stream memes too. Okay. You stumbled on into some strange stones in the mist. You were compelled to choose a worthy sacrifice, one that will be lost forever. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What, what do you mean? What, just, but our cat. Wait, hold on. A cat, if a cat sacrificed, if a cat is sacrificed, it, it, it survives. That was part of it, right? Pick me. What do you mean, pick you? All right. What an honor. A ghastly spectacle, but the soul of the cat now lives in the stoat. Lamayo got him. Okay. All right. All right. That's cool. Okay. Thank you, the Mule 123 for the resub. Thank you, Grim Grum, also for the resub. Thank you, Spag Bethy for the new sub. Welcome, Spag, Spag Bethy. Spaghetti. Thank you, a reasonable horse, for gifting out five gift subs. Thank you very much. Very reasonable. And thank you, the Harpa or Harpa for the resub. Thank you very much. All right. Is this a boss? All right, so I'm digging the aesthetic of the game so far, but... Uh-oh. Behold my totem. It inscribes my canine cards with the airborne sigil. Can I have one of these, please? How do I get one? He's completely insane. You see that, right? Yeah, thank you, card. No care for the rules. Pathetic, really. Uh, no oh, you can hear it! Only keeps me around to watch me suffer. All right, let's play the squirrel. Let's play this. So, can I? Can are you like now? A, you have the power of a cat. Back on the board. Yeah, that's what you do. You're a card. Hmm. hmm. What's going on here? You're. What? Are, what are you playing? You're playing a coyote and a bat. All right. Is it? Is it worth it now to use one of our emergency squirrels to get a wolf on the board? You know what? I'm doing it. I'm doing it. And then we get a wolf on the board. Oh, man. All right, we're doing it. All right, and they're going to kill them, right? Yeah, I think we're good.
My totem has granted my coyote the power of flight. It's levitation, Holmes. All right. I think we want a squirrel. And we're going to squirrel. And then we're going to red snapper. All right, there we go. You guys are going to kill them, right? You can hit flying enemies, right? Card brain the sigil will start going to point directly at you if there's a creature opposing it. Okay, all right. Okay, but you, that does I can still hit you, though, right? Right? Yes! All right. You're four damage away from winning. Ha ha ha! You've activated my trap card. Okay. I feel like I feel like I just win. Wolf cub. Yes. All right. Man, this game's so easy. Impressive. You may yet survive this ordeal. Knock on wood. Alright, oh, this time it's three cards. Elk. The flighty elk moves after attacking. Like, one to the right? Or, or what? That's interesting. Cat. Oh, should we get another cat? The conniving raven, a blight upon the skies. Oh... Sprinter, at the end of the owner's turn, a card bearing the sigil will move in the direction inscribed in the sigil. Huh. You know what? I feel like a second cat isn't the worst idea in the world. Second cat? Nah, the cat sucks. You can't have a... It, you need the board space. Two of three for a flying creature is pretty good. That's two four. Moving to the right, like, who cares, right? Who cares? However, I feel like the flying is only going to be good as like a finisher. Maybe having a flyer is pretty good. Maybe one flyer is good. I'm taking the bird. I'm taking the bird. Alright, do we want to go to the bonfire or to the scary stone thing? Bonfire is... Can we upgrade our cards at the bonfire? I'm going scary thing. Oh, uh, no, we already did this! Uh, rewind! Re I don't want a second... Okay, what are we combining? Okay, see you later, Raven. Alright, pick me, pick me. Alright, so what are, what are you gonna gain? Are you just gonna gain the, the special that they have? Or do you gain the stats too? I guess we're gonna find out. Let's see. We're gonna have a. We're gonna go with a wolf. All right. Let's see what happens. It was three two. Oh, it's just the special. Okay. So now we have a flying wolf. Oh, that's great. All right. While well, we're learning, there's a way out for both of us. It's somewhere in this foul cabin. Be silent, or I will tear you to shreds. Like my dog did. Dot dot dot. Okay, what what are these? Grand fur. Mighty leap. A card bearing the sigil will block an opposing creature bearing the airborne. Oh! Oh! Ho, ho, ho. Get fucked. Grizzly? Four out of six? Oh no. Well, that's not good. Okay, I don't think we're killing that. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, we have hands. Okay, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Okay, I do know what to, I do. Do I know what to do? Do I know what to do? Two wolves will kill that grizzly. I feel like we need to kill the grizzly. All right, so I feel like we should we should squirrel stoat emergency squirrel. You sure? We mean you sure? 
emergency squirrel, wolf. All right, there we go. All right, this is this is pretty good. This is pretty good. All right. Whoa, 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 you know what? Squirrel. Yeah! Alright, good luck. You've lost. Oh, this game got hard. Using this as a learning opportunity may be the only way to mitigate my disappointment. Get up. Get up from the table. Fetch me the candlestick from atop the barrel beside the door. Alright, this is the escape room part, right? Alright, this is the real game. Alright, cool. What, what did he say? A candlestick from the door. Is that a hand? Why are you here? Now sit back down. Pick up the can. Cool. Alright, this is neat. Twelve three six. Okay, this is neat. All right, I'm sitting. I've sat back down. Let me explain something to you. That was one of the two mistakes you can make here. If you make another, I must sacrifice you. All right, what kind of card are you gonna play after you sacrifice me? Now, where were we? Oh. Okay, you know what? I want to go to the campfire and see what the campfire is. Wolf. The proud wolf. A vicious contender. Adder. The ownery porcupine. Sharp quills await those who dare attack it. Alright, what does that do? Once a card bearing the sigil is struck, the striker is then dealt a single damage point. Okay, in, in addition to... Okay, so this has... Extra damage when defending. Alright. Kind of feel like I want the adder. Because the adder can kill a grizzly bear. Is that even when defending? I'm taking the adder. Alright, what's this? You came across a small group of survivors. Are they vampires? Faces shrunken from starvation, they huddled around the campfire. They looked upon your group of creatures and beckoned. Come, warm one of your creatures by the fire, one said. Warm it by the fire, that will enhance its power, said another. You notice one of the survivors wiping drool from their mouth. Huh. Huh. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Should we... Hold on. Let's poison them with this, with the snake. Aha, yeah. Feast upon this. Oh. The fire warmed the poor adder, enhancing its power. One of the survivors reached toward it. Another gnashed their teeth. 
Without a word, you pulled the adder away from the fire and left. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, goddammit, that didn't go well. I would have rather upgraded another card than the adder. Okay, what does the candle skull do? The trees seemed to close in around you as a chill mist descended. In the distance, you could hear the clinking of metal on stone. Alright, well, what do you think you are? 999? I can hear it. You don't have to tell me. A hobbled figure stood on in your path. Uh oh. Yeehaw! Twas the prospector! He's doing the prospector again. Easy boss. The mule's key. Okay, I don't have a mule. Dude, I don't have a mule. Oh, he has a mule! What do you mean, the mule is the key? What if the coyote, is, if the coyote blocks you? What does that mean? What's this do if I click on it? Nothing. Okay. Mighty leap. A card bearing the sigil will block an opposing creature bearing the airborne. Wait, what? Is there a card over there? Is that a fur? Okay, I feel like we want to put the stoat down. Stoat early. Alright, you can kill... You can kill the, the coyote while surviving. Okay, alright. Do we want to get you over there to the ball? I don't think so. Okay, that's, that's all we can do. Alright. Oh, do we... Oh, now you move back to the left! What the hell's this? Is that because you were blocked? Now you move the other way? Oh. Well, that's interesting. Okay, you're dead, dude. I'm sorry. Okay, I kind of feel like I just want the wolf to go ham. What if I killed the mule? What would happen if I killed the mule? Would you get, met would you get, like... Do you drop something if I kill you? Because I could kill you right now. I thought maybe I had to use the mule to block something, but now I see the treasure chest on it, and I'm wondering if maybe I should if I should kill it. I could sacrifice the, the wolf and get it. Oh, I don't know what to do! Nah, let's just go with it, it's fine. No. Oh. Okay, so an attacking creature doesn't doesn't receive damage from what it hits. Oh shit. Oh no. Okay, let's put we can play two squirrels in one turn, right? We, we can just pass. I hope you didn't think it would be that easy. Uh-oh. Is it grizzly time? There's gold in them cards. Woo! Gold! I've struck gold! You just, just make it up rules! What do you mean? Bloodhound! What's that? Guardian, when an opposing creature is placed opposite to an empty space, a card bearing this sigil will move to that empty space. Oh, okay, so it's kind of like a kind of like a taunt. Okay, well, I'm I'm putting the snake down is what I'm doing. All right, here we go. We're putting it here, and the snake will kill the pack mule, and I hope to God we get something good from it because otherwise we're 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 screwed. All right, what do we get? Oh, we do get stuff! God damn it. Dagnamit, my mule! A serpent perhaps more deadly than man. 
Uh oh. Uh oh. Porcupine. Elk. Sparrow. Huh. Okay, so if I put the porcupine down right now, I can kill that coyote. Right? And it won't die? Don't get ahead of yourself, you need to draw a card first. I think we I think we have a lot to play. I think we want to draw a squirrel. Alright, we're putting the squirrel down. Here. And then we're going to put a porcupine down here. Haha, <laughs> you can't come over here. You're gonna kill that, then you're gonna attack. Do we want to try and kill the bloodhound with something? I don't think so. I don't think we can. Oh, we could put a, sp a sparrow down and do one damage to the to the other player. Are we gonna die next turn if we don't? Oh, we're gonna we're gonna do two damage with our adder. Okay, I think we're I think we're fine. Okay, and next turn we can get another squirrel and we can play the elk. I guess I don't know. Elk can kill the bloodhound. All right, let's just go. Oh no, we can't! We have too much shit on the board! Kill my nugget! What are you doing? God damn it! Alright, do we want to sacrifice the adder? Oh, I don't think we do. I guess we just put a sparrow down and just do damage to the boss. And then you will kill my nugget after that and then we'll be fine. Alright, let's do it. Alright. Actually, did we just win? Is it GG? It might be GG. I don't know. Alright, there we go. It might be GG. Uh oh, bullshit! Here comes. Allow me to light your candles once more. I won't be killing you quite yet. Okay, I thought you were going to say, allow me to light your candles on fire. Alright, uh, your cards on fire. Defeat the prospector, achievement unlocked. You're the first in a while to overcome a boss. Who else is playing this game? As a reward, you are granted an opportunity to select a rare card. Choose carefully. Oh, great. Alright. Alright, start the bets. This level of brutish strength needs no explanation. You're a Yuli. Four blood? You think I'm made of blood? Gek. The uninspiring Gek, perhaps you can find a use for it. Huh. Hmm. This I can just play it. This doesn't even need any blood. Poor abandoned child. It does not die when sacrificed, but do you have the heart to try? What? What do you... Okay, like... Th this is so obviously the right one to get that I feel like that's not right. <laughs> Why do you mean child 13? <laughs> what are these, uh... What are these, like, uh... There's, a, there's an elk here and there's, like, a weird dragon here. I feel like Yuri Yuli's gonna come with like a like like a curse. Like look at the face of this thing. Look at this. Thank you to uh, Plumpy Plums for the resub. Thank you looks better than the Witcher for the resub. Tell sixty nine for the resub. Thirty three Shay for the resub. Hung Dam for the resub as well. Top Lolly also resubscribed. Thank you, Top Lolly. And thank you, Haunted Curio, also for the resub. Alright, I don't know what to get. I don't know what to get. This feels like a trap. However, it is for blood. Blood to, to, to what, what how is that a child? That looks like a like a like a like a goat dragon thing. It has wings. 
so far the game has had a lot of things that are unexpected. So this this gets no blood. I can't even sacrifice this, or can I? Can I sacrifice a Gek? The Gek seems like... <sighs> child 13. Does, is that the age of the child, or are there multiple childs? Taking the child. I'm taking the child. With sound of the prospector's pickaxe still ringing in your ears, you carried onwards. You know me, I always want more children. Hmm. The rank smell of rot and mold permeated the humid air. Every step forward was answered by some nearby slip or slither. You tread cautiously into the wetlands. Alright, can I see what these are without, like, if I right click, will it tell me what it is? No? Alright, so this is get a card, and this is poison fucking one of your cards. What? What's that? We haven't seen this before. What's this? Lose a card. Fuck you. You must make, you must make a different kind of choice now. Choose not a specific beast, but decide the cost that you wish to pay. What do you mean? I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. What, what do you mean? I don't know what this means. What do you mean? You know what? Fucking three. Three. I'm going three. The monstrous grizzly. Its form speaks enough of its efficacy. Okay. All right. We got our grizzly. All right. Cool. A random card with cost of three. What were you expecting? I was expecting to lose three cards, to be honest. All right. All right. Backpack. Backpack. A gust from this may lift your creatures into the air, if only for a turn. Oh! Choose one. Okay, pliers is not worth it, and also I don't want to... I, I don't want to lose any more teeth. Although, like, if I use this enough, do I get the toothless ending? Did you get the pride all your teeth out ending? The pride all your teeth out ending is more favorite. Alright, that seems like it could just win around if you have enough shit on the, on the, on the board. This is not enough pa I'm taking this. A powerful item. Turn this and I'll skip my next turn. Oh, okay. Man, it really wants me to take the fucking plier. Can I get more than one of the same? I can. All right. Feeling overburdened enough with full three items. You carried on. Carry on. Carry on. Okay. What do, what do you have? Stomp. B. I hate bees. Okay, we definitely want to get the stoat on the board. Alright. Stoat. Squirrel. Stoat. Total miss. Fuck you! Alright, wolf cub. We want the wolf cub. Want the wolf cub here. Alright, there we go. Alright. Alright. There's a spider on here. This game's cool. Alright, here we go. Okay, wolf wolf cub is now a wolf. Alright, we, we can't play the wolf. We need us we need a squirrel. Okay, we can we can now play the wolf. Alright. Alright, we're good. Alright, you're gonna kill that. How can you fly? What do you mean? When to, oh yeah, you're the flying wolf. Oh, you're the you're the super. <laughs> it's a super wolf. <laughs> yeah, ba, 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 how brutal of you! You dealt me more damage than you needed to win. However, in my game, such feats are rewarded. To be precise, a tooth to keep for each extra damage dealt. The trapper may be interested in your spoils. Oh, now I have to carefully map out my over damage to get... Oh, fucking hell. Alright, what's this? Trap? You were stopped along the way by a trapper looking to liquidate his pelts. 
There was something uncanny about his appearance, but you were quickly distracted by his wares. Care to look at me pelts? Take a pelt, free of charge. Oh, thank you. All right. See the quality? You... No? Is this just for sacrificing? I'm not really clear on the on the blood. All right, so is this how many I have? Oh, okay. Okay. Do I want to get... The, I can't get the golden pelt. I can get the wolf pelt, though. I want to save up for the golden pelt. I only have eight, right? Did I miscount? No, I only have eight. We need more teeth for that. I'm saving. I'm saving up. I'm saving up. No, I'm good. I'm good. No, I'm good. I want to go. Thank you. I'm done. Yep. Thank you very much. You're leaving already? Please consider my pelts. I did. I took this one. All right. Thank you. All right. Thanks for your business. I just took the sample. The man assured you of the value of the pelts. They appeared to be useless in a fight, but he mentioned that the trader further down the path would reward- Oh, for fucking- Just let me fuck- Okay, going here is a waste because we already have three items, so we don't need to do that. Do we want to try and smash our child into something else? What's what's hiding back here? What's this? Can I see? Death. There's death back here. What's this? D death twice. Okay, so we can go here and upgrade a card, or we can go here and try and smoosh child together with something else. I want to smoosh. I want to smoosh. Let me smoosh. Yes! Alright, so we're smooshing child. What are we smooshing child into? Alright, and we're going to smoosh child. Red snapper. That might, that might survive for quite a bit. Does, if I, if I smoosh the child into a two, does that mean I can get two blood every turn? <laughs> What's the pelt there? What, the, what does the pelt do? Uh, what does Pelt do? They're good. Man, mods rip and tear. I'm I'm barely I'm barely reading chat. Mods, it's probably okay. Don't 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 stress yourself out too much, mods. It's okay. It's okay. It's all right. All right. I feel like we get wolves on the board very often. I'm on wolf. Alright, wolf has it. Wolf has it. Okay. I feel like I, I made the wrong decision there. I should have went to the campfire. Fuck. Fuck. Alright, what do you have? B. 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 It's gonna swirl down. And now let's get a stoat down. Fine. And then next turn we can get another squirrel down and get two and get this one down. And then we can get a bunch of shit on the board. Alright, here we go. More bees. Alright, squirrel down. Squirrel. And then wolf. And then wolf. <gasps> Oh, it's going so well. Oh, man, it's going so well. Are dual flying creatures attack other flying creatures?
Okay, I, I feel like I just win. Who cares? Mantis! Bifurcated strike. Oh, you can't do that if you're on Kraken the Cryptic. Your viewers will get very upset if you bifurcate. A card bearing this sigil will strike each opposing space to the left and right of the space across from- What? That's fucking bullshit! What? Shit, I should've done that. I should- I should- oh, I have so much shit on the board I can get blood from! Why'd I do that? Why'd I do that? You know what? Fuck it. You can go on. You, you go. You can go. It's fine. Whatever. Oh, we won! Oh, okay. We, we, we did it. Oh, man. What the hell is this? Save it? You encountered a small outpost. Uh, outpost. Outpost in the woods attended by a mysterious woman. Ah, what? The pelts! It was the traitor that the old trapper had mentioned. Her appearance was unsettling, but you were more mollified by her offerings. I have an pelt. Do you mind if I examine those pelts of yours? No, I only have one. I have an pelt. Enjoy my pelt. Let's start with your hair pelts. Here's what I can offer. I can trade you any of these. Take your time. Really? Warren. What's that do? Rabbit hole. When a card bearing the sigil is played, a rabbit is created in your hand. A rabbit is defined as zero power, one health. Okay. Can, can I play it though? Like and get blood or no? Mighty Leap. Ooh. What the fuck? Why is that there like that? Is it just for blocking? That seems kind of cool. All right, another cat. We can get another cat and sacrifice it because I, I like these, you know, you, you have an ability. Oh, what's that? Worthy Sacrifice. A card bearing this sigil is counted as three blood rather than one blood when sacrificed. Oh. Oh. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, okay. Those pelts are most excellent. My thanks. All right, what if I had had, like, a lot of pelts? I wonder if I could have gotten a lot of shit from that. Oh, God damn it! Why didn't we take the cat? All right, is the goat just going to be... The Fucking hell. Can I have more than one ability on something? Wait, hold on. If, like, a card bearing this, this sigil will grow into a more powerful form after one turn on the board. Okay, what if, what if it, what if it's not a wolf cub though? What if I put that on like, like a fucking grizzly bear? Because the grizzly bear doesn't have anything, right? Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, what's it gonna turn into? What's it gonna turn into? Hold on, can I can I have more than one special ability on 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 a on a dude? Because if I can put three blood on the ones that don't die when I sacrifice them, that would be incredible. All right, let's find out. Yes! Alright, here we go! <laughs> Rip and tear! Alright, Kingfisher, Coyote Kingfisher. Alright, you know what? You know what? I kind of want to put... Maybe we put the Grizzly right here? And then Grizzly kills that next turn. And then and then we'll evolve. And we'll see. Alright? Alright, let's go. Alright, so we're going to go Squirrel. And then Black Goat. And then Grizzly. Oh, what's it gonna turn into? All right, we're, we're good? All right, let's see. What's it gonna turn into? Elder Grizzly. All right, you know what? That's all right. That's not bad. Elder Grizzly, super Grizzly. Oh no, you're blocking. To what what the fuck, fuck is this? Okay, I think we just we just pass. Oh, do we fan? If we fan, we win. Ooh. 
Do we just want to win? Or do we want to save the fan for the boss? I don't I don't like using shit. I'm saving. I'm saving. Why does why is this book showing up as mighty leap? Carbon incision will block the imposing creature brain in the airport. Okay, what do we wanna do? What do we wanna do? What do we wanna do? We can we can pass. I think we just pass. I think we I think we're good, we pass. Alright. Whoa! Did I neglect to mention overkill? Yeah, you did! That would have been good. Just making up rule! What hellish game is this? Excess damage is not wasted. What? It carries over to the card behind the mangled corpse of the victim. Lucky for you. Alright. Thank you so much. Oh, so kingfishers have to recover a turn. Oh, okay. Alright. Wait, can I not attack them then? River otter. Waterborne. A card bearing the sigil submerges itself during its opponent's turn. While submerged, opposing creatures attack its owner directly. Oh. Well, that's interesting. All right, let's take a... Like, we have to take a squirrel, right? Although, I don't I don't really want to play the river snapper. I think we might just win. Yeah, we did. Okay. All right, we get a new card. Mantis. The Fervid Mantis, its prying claws strike both the left and right. Oh, yeah, that's that's awesome. Ah, uh, the Elusive Otter. It submerges itself during my turn. Yeah, that's shit. I don't like that at all. Uh, mm. Comes with a free tooth? Like, what? What's, what's this? I kind of want to take this just just for this. What's this here? Oh, it does nothing. Okay, I kind of want to take the mantis. I'm taking the mantis. Okay, don't want that. All right, do we want to smoosh? All right, we can go and smoosh and find out if you can mult do two smooshes. Or we could upgrade, only this time it's gonna fucking eat our card because fuck you, we just make shit up as we go along here. If we upgrade the grizzly bear, is it going to be... Will it undo the buff when it remakes its, itself or something? I kind of want to double smoosh and see if, if you can smoosh more than one thing. I'm smooshing. I'm smooshing. Alright, I'm smooshing. Alright, I'm gonna smoosh the mantis onto our flying super wolf. And if it overwrites it, that's not the worst thing in the world. Right? Shit. Alright, I'm gonna over add her, and if it overwrites it, it's not the worst thing in the world. Alright, let's see. Uh, inconclusive? It looks like it has both. My boss battles are not our high stakes tests of your of your aptitude. With one flame you will either overcome them or die. Uh oh, fear not, I will let you keep the smoke. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good line. Oh, it's <laughs> the foul smell invaded your nostrils and caused your throat to seize. A hulking man sat by a brackish pond with his feet submerged in the dark water. He pulled a hook from a pile of rotting fish and rose to his feet. Darkest dungeon? I am the angler. Go fish. Oh, do I get to pick a card? 
I love drawing cards. Oh, it does. It has both of them. Yo, this is strong. What's this do? Why would I want the smoke? Kingfisher. Okay, I, I could get the grizzly on the board right now. I feel like we grizzly early, we grizzly often. All right, do we want to put the smoke down too? I guess we do. Can I sacrifice the smoke? I can sacrifice the smoke. Interesting. All right. Yes. Which fish? Hard to choose. What do you mean? I, I don't know. I don't. I don't know what this means. <laughs> what does this mean? Are <laughs> this a squirrel? Fresher fish, easy choose. Oh, you're gonna kill something. Okay, so if I sacrifice both of you right now, you might kill my grizzly. Oh. Oh, shit. What if I... If I, if I sacrifice this right now... Yeah, just go. Too fast, too soon. Okay. Sorry, Executus. Why do you have so many grizzlies? And they all have mighty leap. This is bullshit. Hold on. The adder! The adder can kill two of these grizzlies. Hold on. Hold the phone. Wait. That card. All right, hold on. Let's sacrifice. Okay, let's draw, let's draw a squirrel. Okay, and we're going to, we're going to sacrifice the, the squirrel and the smoke and put it down and kill two grizzlies. And we'll put a squirrel down to, to block. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. Yes! All right, here we go. Let me relight your candles. Defeat the angler, very well. You may choose a rare card. All right, what card? You're back? Get this is just the same cards again. All right, do we take your Yuli? <laughs> your your Yuli seems like. I don't know. I, I have a I have a really bad feeling about your Yuli. Joe, I just lost so much money. <laughs> Wait, what happened? We went child last time, so I'm not going child again. I I don't like your Yuli. There's something about this that I don't like. I'm going Gek. There's something about that I don't like. You can you considered one of the anglers' catches as a as a meal, but the rank odor deterred you. And dinner would have to wait. Okay. Let me see. A frigid gust of wind billowed, unwelcome, into your lungs. The beauty of the falling snow failed to distract you from from the chill in your bones. You you had ascended to. The snow line. Oh, the snow line. All right, we can smoosh. Or oh, I love smooshing. Should we go smooch, smoosh some more? Or right, if we smoosh, okay, smoosh, boss. I don't know what that is. Get a card, upgrade. Or we can upgrade. Or right, is that the trapper? We can upgrade. Fight. 
buy some pelts for the trader, and then smoosh. Hmm. Either way, so hold on. So what? Let's actually look at it. So the difference here is, both of these have an upgrade and a smoosh. So it's whichever these fight. I don't know the difference between these fights. That one looks harder to me because the skull looks more innate. But who knows? So basically, it's do we want a trapper? Do we want to get a card? I think we want to get a trapper. I think we want to buy some card. Let's do that. All right, let's go. Excuse me. Elk. The apotheosized goat, the truest offering, sacrificing it grants three blood. All right, you know what? I kind of want another. Oh, we also see what happens if you take one of the mushroom as well this time. Yeah, I'm going with goat. All right, that did nothing. The mushroom did nothing. All right, let's upgrade and let's hope that we don't get jabated. A group of starving survivors stood around a dying campfire. There is room for a creature around the fire, one said. The warmth will enhance its health, said another. One of the survivors said nothing at all, but could not stop licking their lips. All right, I don't, I just don't trust this man. Like they. Okay, I'm not putting my grizzly. I'm not putting my grizzly down. No way am I putting my grizzly down. No, yeah, no. See, no, I agree. Okay, I agree. Okay, so like, wolf. Adder. I don't want to lose the adder. All right, what what can I put down? A wolf, a river snapper, the gek. Why is the gek a different color? Okay, it's gek or it's wolf. Gek doesn't have a power up. I'm going gek. The health of the gek was enhanced by the warmth. One, as one of the survivors began pulling a knife from their pocket, you withdrew. Okay, so this is this just fine? Hmm. Alright, is this the wolf that gives us blood? No, it's the flying wolf. God damn it. Alright, we can get stowed on the board. Raven egg. Fledgling. A card bearing the sigil will grow into a more powerful form after one turn on the board. Okay. Well, they all have this. Oh, shit. Well, that sucks. After one turn on the board. Okay, if I put stoat here, stoat will kill that wolf cub before, before it grows, I believe. Right? But I won't be able to kill the egg. All right, so I'm gonna go squirrel, and I'm gonna put stoat down. <laughs> Keep me alive. All right, I'm, I'm trying, dude, I'm trying. And that's it, I can't do anything else. All right. <laughs> Fuck. I think we need a squirrel, and then we can put wolf down. But Wolf's gonna just fly over the Raven Egg and attack. I guess that's fine. Alright, there we go. Okay, you know what? I, don't, I feel like we're not playing this right here. Okay, it's going okay. It's going okay. They don't get turned. Oh, they do get turned! Oh shit, we're, we're wrecked. We're wrecked. Daijobu. Daijobu. Okay, what do we do? We can get the grizzly on the board right now by sacrificing the wo the wolf and the stoat. And that will do five damage. Or it'll kill... No, it won't. It'll do one damage and we'll kill a raven, right? And then you're going to do three damage back to us. That might be GG, actually. I feel like we kind of have to do that. If we attack right now, we're going to do 3 damage, 4 damage. Is that enough to win? I don't think so. Sacrificing the wolf is is maybe not a good play. Did I draw a card? No, I didn't. So I can I can draw I can draw a squirrel. What if I get a good card from this? 
What if I get the wolf that... What if I, like, like top deck the wolf that gives blood? And then I could, like, put that down and then put the grizzly... No, I couldn't put the grizzly down. I wouldn't have enough. I don't know what to do. That'll kill, that'll kill the raven and then do one damage. And then we take three. Yeah, I think we gotta do it. I think we gotta do it. Oh no, you turned into a three! Oh no, I died! Shit. I didn't expect it to turn into a three before it attacked. Fuck, how disappointing. Do we go again, or we just lose a, a thing? We just lost a candle? I have the most exquisite pelts. Rabbit pelt. Alright, you get it. we get one for free. Alright. And we can get a golden pelt. Alright, I want a golden pelt. Okay. Wait, hold on. What happens if I get a rabbit pelt? Do I get... Will it replace it? Let's see. Let's see what happens. Okay. I should have a golden pelt and a normal pelt when I get to the pelt trader later. All right. Let's see. Let's see what happens. All right. I'm good. Oh, I do get both of them. Okay. Much appreciated. They stack on each other. Okay. I should have gotten, I could have gotten more. All right. Oh, it keeps going. All right. What, what's that again? I can't remember what that is. Oh, that was uh we had to take away blood. All right. Let's smoosh. What are we smooshing? Black goat, all right. I desperately want this to go on one that survives when I sacrifice it. That would be so good, that would be so good. Fuck, it didn't. The gek? Can you sacrifice the gek? How do you play this? Is it just free? We haven't had the Gek yet. All right, let's go to the fight. Man, that was a bad round we did against the guy before. Fuck. All right, Rabbit Pelt. Oh, do these just take up room in your in your deck until you trade them? They're kind of a trap in that way. All right, Snowy Fur. Okay, so Wolf Cub. All right, if we put you here, you'll kill both of those when they come down. So that seems like a good play. But we're gonna have to sacrifice our goat to do that, which kind of sucks. Can I put the belt, the pelt down, and get a, and get a blood from it? Like I can play this right now. If I if I get blood from it, will it go? Your rabbit pelt can't be. Oh well, fuck it. The wolf. Thank you for telling me. All right, cool. Fuck. God damn it. All right, I feel like we have to play something. We have to get the adder on the board. But if I save the black goat for next turn. We might be able to get a grizzly. Could we get a grizzly and something else? What what would be the play that we're trying to get? Honestly, with this belt with this pelt on the board, could we even do that now? I don't think we could. We could get a grizzly with justice on the board. We can go squirrel into goat into into grizzly. But then the grizzly's gonna be like in one of these, and the wolf cub's gonna level up. I feel like we have to put the death adder on the board to, to clear this. Oh, that's so inefficient. That sucks, man. Wait, if we just wait a turn and we put two squirrel... No, does that have to be two different animals? Or two different cards? Can it be two squirrels? Fuck it, I'm learning. I don't mind. 
Let's find out. All right, so I'm gonna put two squirrels down. And now I wanna put the adder down. Okay, it does work. So now you're gonna kill both of those. Okay. And I can't put the goat down. All right. Yes! All right. Shit. Yeah, okay. So, uh, yeah, we f we're fucked. We're completely fucked. You are never gonna kill this rabbit pelt. This sucks, man. You're just gonna be doing damage forever. How can we even get something on the board right now? Okay, well I'm taking this and hope it's a grizzly. It's not, it's a gek. Do we wanna put a gek down? I guess we do. Okay. We can sacrifice the Gek for three, so let's hope we get the Grizzly. Oh, if it's empty, you attack twice. Of course you do, yeah, that makes perfect sense. Oh shit, okay, that's not bad then. All right, all right, let's hope we get the Grizzly. No, it's a wolf with flying. Why can't I sacrifice the fucking pelt? Alright, there's nothing I can do. I just have to keep passing, right? Because I'm, I'm not going to sacrifice the Gek for a fly. Oh, is that worth it? You're going to kill that. You're going to do one forever. You know what? I feel like... We're breaking even for a while. I think we just pass. Maybe we can use an hourglass if we need it. I think we're okay. Okay, river snapper. I don't care. Just keep going. No! Oh, Alright. Shit. Stoat. Fuck. Another raven's coming. I think we need to skip a turn. Or else we're gonna die. I'll pass my next turn. I'm obligated to pass. Alright. Alright, Grizzly's here. The Grizzly's here. We have to put the Grizzly down, right? We sacrifice the Gek to put the Grizzly down. Alright, and then we and then we just win. GG. Oh man, that was hard. Holy shit. Alright, what now? What was this again? Go here, then here, then one of these, and then... Oh no, that's the... What's this then? That's the blood cost one. I can't remember where this one was. Let's go find out. Oh, you're the traitor! Oh, nice. Okay, cool. Traitor. Alright, we have hair pelt. Alright, for the hair pelt, you will give us a shark. Stinky, the creature opposing a card bearing the sigil loses loses one power. What? So the one the one across from it that doesn't seem very good to me, but I don't know. Um, a card bearing the sigil submerges itself during its opponent's turn while submerged opposing creatures attack its owner directly. Alright, so this is just... Can never be killed. I don't... Unless there's a way to do it. But it does a fair amount of damage. It's three blood. That's a lot of blood for four damage. Getting this again and smooshing it to get to get something good seems pretty good. I like, I like the mantis effect, but I don't really like the mantis itself. And I think there's a smoosh coming up, right? I'm going this. Alright, is that a golden pelt? Magnificent. Alright. Oh, you're fucking back! Strange larva. A card being the sigil will grow into a more powerful form after one turn on the board. Pack rat. 
Trinket Bearer. When a card bearing the Sigil is played, you will receive a random item as long as your pack is not full. Oh, that seems really good. Another fucking Gek? That seems really good. For two blood, we get an item, and we can just cycle items. I like that the Gek is free, though. Free Gek is really good, and we can sacrifice it, too. Gek seems like... But what's this strange strange larva seems like if you if you put it down it's going to turn into like a fucking monster. The trinkets are really powerful. Okay, I want to get pack rat, but I'm I'm tempted by strange larva cuz I want to see what it does. I feel like it could be fun. Why does this say Mighty Leaf on it? Can I kind of like flip between different pages? I'm going Larva. I'm going Larva. You have my gratitude. Okay, Smoosh. Smoosh for sure. Smoosh the Mantis. Please give me Mantis. Please give me Mantis. Mantis, Mantis. Yes. All right. All right, what what are we hoping for to get on the mantis? The fucking grizzly? Shit. <laughs> Strange larva. All right, when the larva upgrades, will it keep the 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 fucking whatever? Let's find out. All right, I, I hope you're good, Strange Larva. Okay, so if we go up here, we get to pick blood and we get another smoosh. I think we should smoosh as much as possible, but is this a really scary fight? Well, let's, let's go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, what the fuck does that do? Sharp quills, once a card bearing the sigil is struck, the striker is then dealt a single damage point. Alright, do all of yours have that? Mole. When an empty space would be struck, a card bearing the sigil will move to that space to receive the strike instead. Oh, so like again, you're like, uh... Wasn't there something else that had that? What's this? Sharp quills. Alright, so you, you give that to some. Turkey vulture. Airborne. Okay. Alright, we can get our grizzly down! Grizzly early, grizzly often. Grizzly down. Where do we want to put it though? Do we want it to kill the mole? Do we want it to kill the turkey vulture and take one damage? I think we do. Alright, so we squirrel. We black goat. We grizzly. Here. Alright, and then that's it. That's a pretty good turn. Alright. Yes! Alright. All right, it's now Elder Grizzly. All right, do we want to start getting squirrels or do we want to hope we get a Gek? You're gonna kill that, you have nowhere to go, but you're gonna move over next turn. I'm, I'm drawing. Yes, we got the Gek, all right, and it's, it's the three blood Gek, nice. All right, do we want to, do we want to put the wolf on the board? Ooh, you know what? It's not gonna die. It's not gonna die. We have. We can wait. Let's let's just give it some options. What does that do? Oh, it's just the moving one. Okay, let's draw. Adder. Okay, I do like the adder. Adder's good, but we don't have enough blood for it. Okay, you are going to hit here, you're going to block then die, then you're going to hit him for one. Is there any possible way we can make him die sooner than that? I don't think so. Because you're going to attack, it attacks left to right, right? So there's no, there's no way, let's just go. Yeah, okay.
Leader. Creatures adjacent to a card bearing the sigil gain one power. Oh shit. Alright, I think we just win now, right? Because you're gonna you're gonna attack for five. Let's get another card. Strange Oh, what does it do? I wanna know what it does so bad. What does it turn into? Alright, do we wanna sacrifice the Gek? I think we do. If we sacrifice the Gek and put the Adder down, then we can kill that and this next turn. This will, will survive though, but we're doing way, a lot of damage with our Elder Grizzly, right? So I think we're okay. Do we want to kill this? It's a waste of a blood. Okay, we just could, we just got three blood for that. Can I draw? No, I can't. Okay, so blood doesn't carry over. All right, we learned from that too. That's good. All right. Yes. All right. Okay. I think I want another three. Because we have because we have, we have, have two goats, don't we? I feel like the prevalence of goats... I think we need more big cards. I think we have enough small cards. I think we I think we want another big card. Oh, another... It's a fucking shark. The Tyrannical Great White, the Master of the Deep. Okay, you know what? I feel like we're, maybe we have... Can I just leave it? Can I... Like, I don't want it. I'm good, thanks. No? No, okay. All right, smoosh, smoosh early. Oh shit, all right. Okay, can we get the blood on something that can't die? If we got the three blood on, on, um, I can't remember his name, on stoat. If we combine stoat and goat, I'm doing it. Fuck. <laughs> oh well. <sighs> Alright. Before we get into that, let me say thank you to some people. Thank you, Evil Panda14 for the resub. Echo Desu for the resub. Delmec for gifting a sub to Backseating Stoat. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, he Stoat was backseating. Thank you, Delmec. Thank you, JXNJGJPJXJ for the resub. Thank you, Bunny in Boots24. Thank you, Bunny in Boots. I am enjoying the game so far. It's, it's pretty good. Thank you, A Reasonable Horse for a resub after the gifted subs earlier. Thank you, Hogtus for the resub as well. Thank you, Quirrell, 10B Zone for resubs. Thank you, Bladgerdom for the new sub. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, Aluminium for the resub. Parl Trick for the resub. Bolt5858 also for the resub. Alduin Feet Picks for the resub. Sequel14 as well. Mr. Costco and Gordot Forot. Thank you very much for the resubs. All right, so I have a feeling this is the end of the run, chat. But let's see what happens. A man stood before you, a man you recognized immediately. It was the Trapper. You reached out to examine his wares, but he stopped you. Not this time, old chum. Sorry, but today you will supply the pelts. I, I sold them all already. Uh-oh. Strange frog. Leaping trap. Blocking closing future bearing the airborne sin. Okay. Okay, hold on. We have strange larva. Do we want to put the larva down? I'm doing it. And I'm putting it here to attack these two. Okay, what's what is it gonna do? What if I skip turn? <sighs> If I skip turn, the larva just grows, and then it's super powerful. I'm doing it. What the fuck? What do you mean, strange 
orange poopa. Was it a fucking poop card more like? What do you mean? What? No. Fuck. God damn it. All right, you know what? This better be like fucking a banger card once it gets through this shit. You know, g give me a gek. Gek? Yes. All right, gek. Do we want to sacrifice the gek for the great white? Oh. Yep, I'm doing it. Oh wait, adder, 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 so good. Adder is so good. Adder on the board, kill the, kill that one, double damage the whole time. Adder is so good. But with with an adder, adder is just, is not using all the shit. Top geck, I see, I see your pun chat, and I like it a lot. We top gecked. All right, I'm putting the great white down. What is this hunt showdown bullshit? All right, you know what? You better fucking grow, man. What? What? What do you mean it turns into a fucking trap? All right, Mothman! Holy shit! You're gonna die from a strange frog unless we fucking get something out of our ass right now. Shit. Okay, hold on, hold on. Hold the phone, hold the phone, hold the phone. All right, you're gonna kill these two, all right? You are you are going to hit it for one. So next turn, I have to kill you. So I can kill you next turn if I take a squirrel now and a squirrel next turn and then put my adder here, you, it'll kill you and you'll only have done one damage, right? Or I make you fly and when you fly, you just do 14 damage to the boss and kill it, but then it's fucking candle bullshit time. Oh, I'm doing, I'm doing the squirrel strat. I'm going squirrel. Oh wait, you do fly. You already flying. Oh shit, cause you're a Mothman. Uh oh. Well, I don't know what's gonna happen here. Oh. Oh yeah, you block flying. Fuck. Wait, what? Where, 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 where did my shark go? Where did my shark go? What happened to the shark? When a card bearing- Oh, I didn't see that one. I must have clicked on this one. When a card bearing the sigil perishes, the creature opposing it perishes as well. Oh shit! What? A pelt is created in your hand. No, 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 no. I don't want to kill this then. Fuck. Okay, hold on. One second. One second. Let me think about this. Okay, if if I put if I put the squirrel down, right, and I get the adder, the adder will kill that, kill that. The trap goes down. You attack here and here, do seven damage. Then next turn, so you do seven damage to the boss. Then next turn, my adder kills that, killing my mothman. So at least you get one attack. All right, you get one attack at least. However, if I put something down here, Mothman will be like hit hit and I'll sacrifice whatever I put here. But I don't have anything to put down here that's gonna attack it. Unless I top Gek. I don't think I'm gonna top Gek though. Am I gonna top Gek? Either way, it's dead next turn. I'm going squirrel. I'm going squirrel. I'm going squirrel. So that's gonna go there. Boom, boom, doesn't kill anything, hits for seven. All right, I'm going squirrel. Alright, 
Now what? Too fast, too soon. Oh, this shit again. This shit again. What the fuck? All right. Well, Mothman's gonna kill these two, and you're gonna kill these two. So I think, I think it's okay, right? Just boom, 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 right? I think we're okay. Do I just draw a card? I think I just draw a card. Would it have been a top geck? No, it would not have been a top geck. All right, let's see what happens. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. All right, good. All right, now you come down. What do you mean you get to attack? That's horse shit. You will make an exquisite pelt? a win you aren't dead yet this isn't purgatory you fucking cheater though you may think of it that way before you expire I must ask you a favor I would like a memento you want me to morb your very own death card it's quite plain at the moment isn't it we will work together to make it to amend that together I want this to be the perfect memento of you here are some cards from your from your mediocre deck. Okay. We can put them to good use. Please choose a card to draw the cost from. What do you mean, draw the cost from? Okay, well this one's free, so can I just pick this one? This one doesn't cost anything. Alright, a cost of free from the Gek. Alright. And another, this time I will use its power and health, the numbers. Power and health. Okay. Well, 3 2 is probably. Well, 1 6? A 3, a free 3 2 is pretty fucking good. A free 1 6 is not as good. But are we gonna pick an effect for it too? What's the effect gonna be? I'm going three. Like it's 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 the best. Three and two from from the wolf. Okay. And now choose a card for we'll attract uh, extract the si the sigils. Okay. Wait 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 wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Both of them. A sigil of fledging and a sigil of bifurcated strike from this strange larva. I never did ask you, ask your name. Waffles. Card upon. There is now but one final matter. The portrait. Are you ready? You do not need to smile. Here we go again. Another challenger. Perhaps it is time. Perhaps you can understand bones. A resourceful opossum costs two bones. You gain a bone when one of your creatures perishes for any reason. Ooh. Are, are you ba Stout, stout. Are you hearing this shit? Did you play before? Are you a death card? All right, any reason. Any reason you say. Rattler. Huh. Okay. Alright, so Stout no longer has the, the free blood ability. Alright. You know what? We're at two hours. Now's a pretty pretty good time to uh to take a break, I think. Alright. Before I go, thank you to Who's the last person I said thank you to? It was it was Bolt5858, was it not? I think it was, wasn't it? Oh 
oh man, I'm so tired. It just kind of hit me there for a second when I took the headset off. How are you liking the? I'm really, I like you a lot so far. It's, re it's really, really good. Oh man, uh, thank you, Bolt5858. I'm pretty sure I said thank you to Bolt5858. Thank you, I'll do in feet picks for the resub. Thank you, Seekle14 for the resub. Thank you, Mr. Costco for the resub. Thank you, Gordot Forot for the resub as well. Thank you, Smokerin for gifting out a sub. And thank you, Fodiaz. Fodiaz for the new sub. Welcome, welcome, Fodiaz. All right, we're right back. If you've been sitting the whole time, get up and walk around. I'm going to go pee and I'm going to get some, some water if we have any. Maybe we're out. Joe is insane luck. The amount of OP bullshit stumbles into is unbelievable. I, I fucking just lost. I lost so hard. Anyway, we're back. Okay, chat. So. Do I want to break the emergency squirrel bottle? I've been thinking about this the whole time I was gone. Do I want to break the emergency squirrel b bottle in order to get an opossum on the board right away? What if we get Stoat is going to die, right? So we don't want to get Stoat on the board right now, right? So if we do a squirrel and we can get Stoat on the board here, then we have what? Do bones last forever? Like, is there like a bone tracker? I guess the best play here is just to pass. We pass, get a squirrel, and then next turn we can go squirrel, squirrel, to get a wolf on the board, and, as far as I understand it, also get a possum from the bones, right? Okay, so let's get squirrel. So we put squirrel, squirrel, squiddle, and then we get a wolf on the board. Kill, kill. All right, so we got we got bones. All right, I want the possum to kill the rattler, the the rattler. So I'm gonna put that here. From the death of your creature, you've gained a bone. All right, these look permanent. You will not lose this until it is spent or the battle ends. Okay, thank you. All right, so I'm gonna put the opossum down, and the opossum is gonna kill the the rattler. All right, I think I think this was pretty good. Okay, that is gonna kill my wolf, huh? Shit! <laughs> uh, I mean, I guess we could we could we could draw the squirrel and get stowed on the board. Oh, we won. Okay, cool. Oh. You forgot your figurine. Get up and fetch it for me. Alright. I like to I like to play as 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 either the car or the dog. Where are they? It's besides the safe. It's beside the safe. Alright. What the hell is this? Oh, oh, it's moving. One, one, one. Is there a zero? Zero, one, one, one. No, that's not it. more numbers around? What the fuck is going on out there? Ha 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 I'm stealing your teeth. It's 
It's pointing at something. There's gotta be something to do here, right? There's gotta be. Oh shit. Light the smoke? What? Alright, this this is like so intriguing to me. That was like it's pointing something. Why is it like a big spin, big spin, and then a little spin? Is that seven or eight? Nah, that's not gonna be it. Numbers on here. Oh. Interesting. All right, so hour hands, minute hands, second hands. Every clock that I've seen, the minute hand is actually I'm str I'm struggling to think of the last time I actually saw a fucking analog clock. The shortest hand on a clock is the minute hand, and then sometimes some some analog clocks don't even have a second hand. But I would that's that's how it has to be, right? Question, question mark? Yeah. So, what? Why am I getting question, question marked? I've seen, like, there were some analog clocks in, in my high school that didn't, that didn't have a second hand. They just had a minute hand and an hour hand, and that's it. They didn't, they didn't have a second hand. Short, short hand is the hour. Yeah, that's what I said, didn't I? A third hand, you mean? No, like a sec a hand that that counts the seconds. You said short. Is oh, did I? I'm sorry, I just misspoke. Yeah, the short the short one is is hour. The the middle one is is uh is minute, and the long one is seconds. But some of them don't have a second hand. How many combinations are here? Can we just brute force this? Actually, you know what? There's probably quite a lot, right? Something to do with this, maybe? It's it's one eleven. I don't think we can delineate it like that. Maybe, maybe more of this is revealed as you do more runs, and then you can uh, figure it out. What would it be? 1-1. One, one. Would you have to add it all up, maybe? Let's 
What if it's just all sixes? The devil's game. No. Oh! Mighty Leap. Oh! So you can pick Frozen away. When a card bearing the sigil perishes, the creature inside is, is released in its place. Wait, what? You can put a card inside another card? When a card bearing the sigil is drawn, the sigil is replaced with another sigil at random. At title lock, at beginning of at the beginning of its owner's turn, a card bearing the sigil will pull small creatures like squirrels into its orbit. What the fuck does that mean? Omni strike, a card bearing the sigil will strike each opposing space that is occupied by a creature. It will strike directly if no creature opposes opposes it. Leader Oh, okay, so if, if you if you leave it open, it's only going to attack once. Alright. Leader, creatures adjacent to... Okay, we saw that one. Brittle, after attacking a card bearing the sigil perishes. Belit... Bellist? When a card bearing this... You know what? Let's, let's wait until we see them. Man, my brain is telling me I can do something right now. Is it candles? One, 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 three? No, it's a candle. It's not, I, I'm not gonna get it. Let's just go. The meager coyote, but what did you expect from, for only four bones? Two, one. The nefarious rattler, a brittle creature, once passed its monstrous fangs. Six, six bones? You think I'm made of bones? The unkillable cockroach, it returns to your hand after dying. Oh. That's interesting. Okay. Alright. Do Can we smoosh? What if we smoosh the cockroach onto our free thing? And then we can just, when it dies, haha, -ha, I play it again. I feel like I want the cockroach to smoosh. I'm going cockroach. You know, you're free to get up again to keep your blood flowing. Wait, really? I'm no tyrant. You may stand whenever the map is unrolled. It allows me to plan your, your next encounter, but do keep your hands off my possessions. Oh. What are you gonna do? Oh. Du -du 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 okay. A rock may get you out of a hard place. Okay, so rock. Make them fly. Okay, we don't really use that a lot. This was not this was very situational last time. Uh, a boulder to block. That that might be pretty good. Let's get a boulder. What is this game and do you like it? This game is game of the year for 2020 or 2021 depending on who you talk to. Uh, yeah, I like it quite a bit so far. It's it's, it's interesting. All right, bullfrog. Mighty leap. Okay, so that's gonna block those, and then we can attack it back afterwards. Three, two. Cockroach. Hmm. Let's put the squirrel down. And do we want to put the frog down? Isn't the frog just gonna get get moited? The frog's just gonna die. That doesn't seem like a good idea. It's n it's not even gonna gonna take anything down with it either, is it? It's just gonna die.
We could put it here, maybe? Could use a squirrel and get the wolf down. And then we have a space if we get another item later. Oh, man. Can I see the map again? Fuck, I can't, can I? Eh, fuck it, I'm doing it. Alright, and then I want to... Put it here, get a free hit, then kill the sparrow. Okay. Let's take a card. Oh, possum. Oh, possum. All right. Oh, possum will kill this in two turns, right? Because, um, because it's not going to attack back. So the opossum is going to go, hey, 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 hey. All right. Yeah. Let's do that. Can I sacrifice an opossum? I can. All right. So bones can turn into blood. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Are you smart or something? He usually doesn't even bother teaching about bones. All right, here's a tip. I saw a past victim writing a passcode in the rule book. Oh, where, where's Waffle's card upon? I thought I had that card. What the fuck? You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, shut up. Oh, it's right there. <laughs> How did I miss that? Wait, wasn't there a patch over this? 273. 273. Stink bug. Oh, hello. I wasn't sure if I would ever escape that iron crypt. Is 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 the stoat around? The stunted wolf? This madness must end. Put that away put that away. Or or else what? I'm taking the key too. Fuck you. Alright, I have a key. Alright, and I'm gonna put the key in here. Whoa! <laughs> Off what fucking Professor Layton bullshits this? Uh, how do I get it back up? You can't. All right. Oh, you can. It's, it's, you have to go up and down to the top, okay? It's not just a toggle thing. Okay. All right. So, zero out of five. What does that mean? Make it so there's five on my opponent's side and zero on my side. So, that? No. That. That's it. Okay. Skink. I forgot that I put that there. Very well. You may add it to your deck and I'll deal with, with you. Oh. I'll deal you one every so often. Okay. Skink. Okay. Again, zero out of five, and it can't be higher than that. Okay. So... That, that gets blocked, but I can just go like that. Okay, do I, can I get hit or does that not matter? Okay. Oh, interesting. All right, that's it, right? No. What, what, how is that not it? Th 
three, four, five. Why is that not it? What is it hitting? I'm confused. None. It's not opposite. Right? No. What the fuck does lizard mean? That's three. What does lizard mean? Does lizard mean it blocks and a hit? That's two. How is that? How is that more? I'm confused. That's the same. Even though I added one down to this side, it's still the same. It's still the same. It's still the same. Now it's one less. I don't get it. I don't know what the symbol means. What does the book say? Ants. The value represented with the sigil will be equal to the number of ants that the owner has on their, their side of the table. One half bones. M Mirror, mirror round? No, that's not a D. The power and what the fuck? Bell ring. Card counter. Spilled blood. Boon of the ambidextrous. You may draw twice at the beginning of your turn. Oh, that sounds good. Boon of the magpie's eye, boon of the goat's blood, boon of the forest, boon of the bo of the of the bone lord, eight bones. Harpies. Okay, where where's the like the? Holy shit! There's so much. What the fuck? Bees within. D we need dam builder. What? Loose, loose tail. When a card bearing this sigil would be struck, a tail is created in its place, and a card bearing this sigil moves to the off oh, for fuck's sake. What? When a card bearing this sigil would be struck, a tail is created in its place, and a card bearing this sigil... What? What do you mean, a card? Moves to the right. What do you mean, a card? This card? Is it talking about itself? 
When a card bearing the sigil would be struck, a tail is created in this place and a card bearing the sigil moves to the right. Does it mean itself? Or does it just mean any random card? Well, it's not going to get struck here now. If, it's, if this is going to get struck right now, it's going to make a tail and it's going to move to the right. Which means it's going to block 5 damage, which means it's, this is going to be 2. Okay. So if I don't strike it, it's going to be 5. Okay. Formidable creatures, those ants, very well. I will add them to your deck and make them available for future challengers. Worker ant. Okay. Oh, there's more. Oh, what was it? Ants are added to their to the uh, to the fucking opponent or whatever. God damn it. Ants in the pants. That's gonna maybe hit? Do you have damage? I I'm gonna have to go back and read the ant one now. It was like for every ant on the board, right? Ooh. So it's three if it's down. So it's increasing the power of the ants when it's up here. What if I just move this? I can't. Can I? There you go. Five. All right. Caged wolf. Uh, okay. Five. Oh, fucking hell. Okay. You're going to get struck and it's going to move over to the right. Right now, this should deal... One damage. Yeah, okay. This will deal one damage still. Okay. This will deal three damage. Why is it only two? Doesn't this buff what's next to it? And also deal damage itself? Or no? Hmm. This should still deal two damage. Yeah. Yeah. All right, you're set in stone. You are also set in stone? Really? Huh. You are going to make a tail that's going to block it. No, you're going to move. But will I kill you? Still two? Three, because it hits here. What the fuck is this? I thought this was a buffer. I like these. These are cool. If I hit it twice, what does that do? Does it kill it? That's dead now. Doesn't matter. Why would I possibly want to move this one over? No matter what, you're going to leave it you're or you're going to leave a tail and you're going to go to the right. If I block you, then you get hit instead. And then you die. But it doesn't matter, because it's... 
I don't know what the one means. Is it if it's in the back line it does is does buffs? No. There's one here. I thought this increased the power of those next to it. Hmm. Let's go look. No, it's a different one. Right? What did ants do again? Number value representing with the sigil will be equal to the number of ants that the owner has on their side too. Okay, so it was, it was only your own ants, not the the enemy ants. Sorry if this is boring, by the way, but I, I always want to... Um, is it Sharp Quills? I always want to uh, play... Well, not always, but most of the time I want to play games like I, I would if I wasn't streaming. Because like, I want to enjoy it um, as much as possible. Sharp Quills. Is that what it is? It's Quill... Why the fuck would Quills matter? Why would quills matter? Oh, if I put the quill here, you hit it, then you die, so you don't hit this one. Ah, okay. What the hell's that? Without having met her, the wood carving is meaningless. In time, you will understand its power. Okay, so that's everything. So we have to meet her, all right? We can't do the clock. Was there another code somewhere? Are these like the like the long hand and the and the minute hand? Short hand to the right, minute hand to the left. And then just cycle the seconds. No, opposite. No. I'm not gonna get it, okay. It looks like a forest. Is there a forest level? Okay, turkey vulture, the pernicious vulture, tyrant of the skies, great white, wa yeah! waffles card upon, welcome waffles card upon, welcome, all right, do we want to smoosh waffles card upon with our cockroach? The choice is yours. Stinky, who the fuck are you? All right. Ant Queen, Ant Spawner, when a card bearing the sigil is played, an ant is created in your hand. Oh shit, we have a lot of fucking cards now, don't we? Fucking hell. Alright, I wanna I wanna smush the uh, the cockroach with Waffles card upon. Let's get him. Caged wolf. Okay, what? You again, indeed. Our friend freed me. Well, I basically told them how to do it. You got a plan? We have another friend here. You've got to be. I wouldn't call him a friend. But I suppose we are in deep this time. Alright. Ant Queen. <laughs> well, we don't have many options here. All right, uh, 
g- uh, s- squirrel into stoat, I guess? Like, I don't know what to do. Like, we get some bones from that interaction, I guess. Stoat isn't gonna... is gonna kill them slowly. Ba- yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, I agree, actually. Fuck. God damn it. Okay, we can do a squirrel. And then we can get stink bug on here. And that will lower it by one, and then you can kill it eventually and we'll take some damage. But there's a fucking coyote coming. Shit. Oh. You know what? I believe in the heart of the cards. Waffles card upon. Waffles card upon. Fuck. Alright, well, that didn't work out. <sighs> Do we want to put the boulder down? It's not going well, chat. It's not going well. Oh, oh, that's GG. Oh man. Okay. All right. Holy sh! Holy shit! I hope for more. I'm sorry. Yeah, I did too. Actually, holy fuck. All right. What? What's the mine? You came across a hobbled man standing beside some boulders. You caught me off guard. Not supposed to see me till further down the road. Say, I like me a gamble. If in ye can pick a boulder that has gold in it, ye can keep it. Show me where to strike. Dab nabbit, no gold. But that is a funny looking varmint. Keep it. Beehive. Burrower. When an empty space would be struck, a card bearing the sigil will move that space to strike instead. Once a card bearing the sigil is struck, a B is created in your hand. A B is defined as one power, one health, airborne. Alright. Our deck is being filled up with crap. Alright, we get to smoosh. That's pretty good. I like to smoosh. Hello. Alright, what do we want to smoosh? Bullfrog kind of bad. Blocks and an airborne. I definitely don't want to smoosh you because... What if I smooshed you with... Stoat? That would be kind of weird for you, wouldn't it? Yeah, let's do that. That would be kind of weird for you, wouldn't it? Yeah, it's you. Yeah, what what's gonna happen? Yeah, alright. Oh. Okay. It's me. You mean it's us. Okay, that's going to make it so you they don't do any damage to you, so you can just take it down. Alright. Man, I wonder if playing a card right at the beginning of, of the round is really always the best play. Maybe I should be saving it so I can do double squirrel. It just doesn't seem... It seems shit to not, not put something on the board. start with putting so much shit on the board this is bullshit okay I think we need to put the boulder down all right so put wolf here wolf hits you killed that boulder blocks coyote oh we have opossum Hmm. 
that kills Coyote. All right, maybe we can save the boulder. All right, that should work, right? We're going to take one damage, but we're going to deal three. So there's no way we can we can die right now, right? Okay. Shit. Shit. Okay, even if we get the squirrel, we're going to have to top deck something. So it's top deck and hope for the best, or squirrel and then top deck next turn. So we should top deck now, because we might get something we can play right now. I see the way this is going. I concede. You may accept my surrender, or you may finish this match the slow way. What, what do you mean? Dude, you're winning! What the fuck are you talking about? Okay, I... Accept? Okay, but I don't get extra teeth from doing that. Alright. Maybe Was he out of cards, maybe? The Venerable Alpha, its courage emboldens the creatures that stand beside it. Okay, that's pretty good. The stalwart snapper, a near impenetrable defense. Oh, you oh you cost bones. Okay. Why mushroom? Is this like spooky spooky guy recommends? <laughs> Best value? Like I don't understand. What's the mush what's the mushroom? Alpha seems pretty good if only to do a smoosh. Opossum not bad though. Opossum not bad. Two bones. I'm going alpha. I feel like this run is not going nearly as well as the last one did. Alright, do we want to smoosh or do we want to upgrade? I feel like we have too many cards. And I think smooshing them together right now would be the best play. I feel like we got too many cards from going and opening all those puzzle drawers. Alright, smooshing. Smoosh the alpha. Smoosh the bullfrog to get rid of the bullfrog from the deck. Thin the deck and also put block air units on someone else. Or smoosh the alpha and put buff on someone else. Bullfrog's only one blood. It's so shit though. I'm smushing alpha. What the fuck is caged wolf? How do we how do we get how do we uncage the wolf? Does it need to die? If we put alpha with a wolf, do we get an alpha wolf? Do we get a super wolf? Worker ant. Only only one. Only one blood. Skink. Will that buff the tail? I don't know, all these kind of suck to be honest. All these kind of suck. Alpha, let's put it on either the opossum, bullfrog, or let's put on wolf. Incessant clank, clank, clanking reverber reverberated between your ears. The path ahead was blocked by a grotesque figure. Okay, I feel like we're not gonna win. Twas the prospector. Hee haw. Okay, can we put caged wolf down? No. Beehive. Okay, beehive seems like a fun thing to put down. Oh, Waffles Cardapon is here! Ho ho ho! Finally! Alright, so we wanna beat the pack mule. Okay, so Waffles Cardapon can probably make that happen. We want to put Waffles card upon in the middle of the board where it can hit multiple targets. 
But is Coyote gonna kill Waffles card upon? It will. But then we can just play it again. Who cares? Right? <laughs> Who gives a shit? Like, yeah, like, maybe put it here and it can kill both of them. And then Beehive. Squirrel. And then Beehive. Can I sacrifice Cardapon endlessly? I'm sorry, is is that not am I am I not understanding this right? Can I just like sacrifice this and then just replay it? <laughs> what the fuck? This is busted! Holy shit! Owned. There's gold in them cards. Uh oh. Gold, I've struck gold. All right, to be honest, you did. Uh, let's let's draw. Worker ant. Okay, I have I have no room on the board. You're out of space. There's no room for that card. Okay, cool. Okay, what are you? Guardian. When an opposing creature is placed opposite an empty space, the card bearing. Okay, so I can put down Waffles card upon, who will then deal a bunch of damage to you. But it's like, you know what? Fuck it. I'd... Oh, I have to draw a card. Uh, I have no space for a squirrel. Let's just draw. Let's see what we get. Prospector boss again. Yeah, I know. You're stinky. Let's just put you down. Okay. Need a light? Your reward? Can I have another Waffles card upon? Child 13. You Gek. Gek. I like cards that don't cost any resources to put down. But we haven't taken him yet. And one Gek. After the harrowing encounter with the prospector, you gathered yourself and continued onwards. Who's the last person I said thank you to? I said thank you to Faux Diaz when I came back, right? I remember saying thank you, Faux Diaz. Thank you again, Faux Diaz, for the new sub. Thank you, Ka Cassie42, for the new sub. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, Shining7, for the resub. Bad Fetus, for the resub. Thank you also to Gourmet Selection. Ooh, very enticing. Uh, thank you also to Octurious. Kit. Kit Subbean. Or Kits You Bean. One of those for the resub. Thank you, Grey Goo Music. Interesting. Von Giovanni as well. And thank you to Crazy Fist. Oh, it scrolls out. Oh, man. So many subs today. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you, Crazy Fist. Thank you, Samo8x. I feel like I can say that differently, but I'm not getting it. Thank you for the new sub. Welcome, welcome, Samo. Thank you, Jay-Z102 for the resub. Jankat. Or Jankat7 for the new sub. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, Some Blind Squirrel. Your kind of game, Some Blind Squirrel. Or, you know what? Maybe not. <laughs> uh, and thank you, Bluxen97, also for the resub. Thank you very much. Let me think. The air grew thick with moisture. The buzzing and chirping of insects drowned out the sound of your footfalls. You beheld the wetlands. All right, we're back here in the wetlands. All right. All right, has, have things changed in the room? No. This is weird with the with the uh, the smoke. All right, what's this? You arrived at the inky black mouth of a cave. A strange beast lurked within. It spoke, pass one of my trials and I will be yours in a raspy voice. Okay. 
Three creatures will be drawn from your deck. They will decide your success or failure. It spoke again, but first you will choose a trial. The trial of health. The three drawn cards must have at least six health combined to pass. Oh, shit. Trial of blood. The three drawn cards must cost at least four blood combined to pass. We have a lot of bones in our deck. The trial of power. The three drawn cards must have at least four attack power to combine the power. Okay. Definitely not the blood. Definitely not the blood. Because we have too many bones in our, in our deck. So it's life. I think four attack power is easier to get than six health. Let the trial of power begin. Fuck. What? Oh, fuck. We would have done six health. God damn it. God damn it. We would have gotten six health. Failure. The creature whispered as it faded into the blackness. That sucks. That sucks. Alright, do we want to smoosh? We definitely want to smoosh, right? What's this X up here? What does that mean? Alright, we want to smoosh onto the Gek. Do you want to smoosh the, the Skink or the Bullfrog? Or do you want Ants? Are Ants free? I'm not really feeling the Ants, to be honest. Hmm. I'm doing this one. This is not a good smoosh. Caged wolf. Man, we haven't even drawn that yet. Stink. Yeah, add stinky. Alright, so one 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 two one. Okay. Oh we get we get um Hmm. We could get the ant queen down and see what the ant queen's all about. By by sacrificing the squirrel and the gek. I don't think I want to do that though. Actually we're probably gonna fucking die. Honestly, first turn seemed to be really difficult. Stoat. Stoat can kill you without dying. We could play Stoat and Gek and do two damage and then kill the bat and then be away from the Kingfishers. Which kind of suck, but whatever. I don't want to put any in front of it. Alright, let's do that. Let's put, let's put Stoat down. Here and let's put Gek here. Alright. I think that's that's not bad. Alright, so Stoat kills Bat, Gek hits, you hit for one each, which isn't the worst thing in the world. I think we wanna draw a card and hope for waffles. We got an O possum. We don't have enough bones for that. Do we get a bone for killing an opponent's card? I can't remember, let's find out. No. Okay, so these these nubs up here, does that mean I'm one, two, three damage from losing? It looks like it, right? Okay. Does the stinky count when they're down? 
Because right now they're down. They can't they can't give out stink when they're down, surely. Right now we do two damage. We can get a squirrel. I think we want to get a squirrel. And then I think we just want to pass. And then maybe next turn put squirrel, squirrel, ant, and then opossum down. And then we have a full board. And we'll see how that goes. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, let's squirrel, squirrel, squirrel. Okay, ant. Okay, the power number is the ant. Okay, so you cost one. Huh. All right, so. If I put the possum down, I can sacrifice the possum and put a worker ant down, and the worker ant's way better, right? Also, oh, it does! The stink, the stink counts! Alright, now it's one each. Alright, I think this is pretty good. That's bullshit! The stink shouldn't count when you're burrowed! What? Oh, now, oh, now you're here! Now you're here, alright. Pi or anus. This is six damage. This is one, two, three, four damage. It's got to be this, right? This does way more damage. What the hell is this? Oh, another one! Alright. Okay, six health. Three sigils among them to pass. Trial of bones. Three drawing ones, at least five bones combined to pass. Okay, alright, alright. What the hell? Three sigils. We have a lot of sigil cards. I'm going sigils. I'm going sigils. Alright, what do I get? Wolf, black goat. Excuse me? Excuse me? Unkillable goat? That's good, is it not? Gotta get unkillable goat. Alright, what the fuck is this? X marks the spot versus a smoosh. Okay, I want to do smoosh, but I've never seen X marks the spot before. What's that? You came across some familiar stones, but there was something different. You intuited that the fate of the creature selected for this would not be pleasant. Uh, pick something else. Is this just get just get rid of a card? All right, bullfrog sucks. Caged wolf. Will it take away the cage? Okay, I'm thinking this is, this just gets rid of a card. Bullfrog is just like our whatever card right now. I'm never happy to pull a bullfrog. I'm getting rid of the bullfrog. All right, what's gonna happen? You, you callously slaughtered the bullfrog. However, the bone lord was pleased by your sacrifice. Th thank, thank you, bone lord. Minor boon of the bone lord. You will start each battle with one extra bone. Oh! A miter boon of the Bone Lord. All right, so if I had sacrificed a more, uh, like a, a more high value card, would I have gotten better boon there? Like, the Cage Wolf seems like it's a high value card. I wonder if we would have gotten something better there. You shook off the, the viscera of the poor bullfrog and carried onwards. 
deserved. Deserved. Okay, what's this one? Yes! Thank you, Bone Lord. Lucky draw. No, not really. Caged wall. Yeah, what do you do? Okay, what's this? Burrower. When an empty space would be struck, a card bearing the sigil will move that space and receive the strike instead. Alright, so you have bees. Burrowing bees. That's terrifying. Alright, do we want to put a... I mean, a beehive's pretty good. Counter bees with bees? Do it for the, do it for the vine. Uh. Oh, you fly! Oh, fucking hell! They fly! Fucking hell! Fuck! so many bees okay waffles please our bones bones not bad bones can kill a bee you know what I missed the beat chat I'm sorry I shouldn't have named the card waffles uh, card upon I should have <laughs> I should have named the card OC <laughs> It's because of OCG. <laughs> I should have named the card OCG. God damn it. All right. Uh, I think we're okay, right? Like, this is going to kill, kill, and then they're going to move. Oh, they're going to move down and hit, hit, hit. Um, Are you going to, after you get hit, are you going to burrow and block the other one? God, I don't know. If it doesn't, I'm dead, right? Oh, I got a, I got a life back. Do you get a life back after you, you go to the next, um, the next area? Because I kind of want to see here. I can take one damage. If I take two, then I'm, then I'm dead. Like, it, okay. So my read on this is I'm gonna kill, kill, and then they're gonna move up. Mantis is gonna hit here and then hit here. And then you're going to come down, and you're going to hit here too. I can't burrow your hit, but can I... Will you burrow that hit? I think it will. And I'll be fine. Yes! Alright! We got some bees! Alright, bees. What do bees do? Burrower. Alright, we got some bees. I'm covered in bees. Covered in bees. All right, you're gonna die. I can kill bee versus bee. Wait, do you fly? Shit. Oh fuck. I need to do some damage. I need to do damage to balance the board. I actually kind of quite, quite like the system of, of of balancing damage. Okay. I should draw a card, and if I get a really good card, I'll play it. If I don't get a really good card. I could possibly sacrifice the bees to, to, to do it, because I think I'm going to get one from this. So let's draw a card. And I got Black Goat. Alright. I got nothing good to play with the Black Goat. Am I dead? B is going to attack once. We're going to kill. I think I'm okay. Oh no, B's going to block. Wait. Actually, I'm okay with that. I think this is fine, right? Yeah, this is fine. Okay, 
let's get a, um, a squirrel and we're just gonna pass and it's just gonna be shit you're gonna you're gonna block two hits that's fine oh I didn't account for that I didn't account for that shit I didn't account for that all right so you're gonna do one we're gonna do four damage because we're fly versus fly right now, and they're not going to... Oh, wait, hold on. They're going to burrow. They're going to block. We're going to do two damage, and then the worker ant's going to come down. All right. How did we get bees? Okay, I'm drawing a card. Worker ant. Okay, we're kind of full. I wish there was more places to put, put shit. Hold on. Hold on. Do I want to put the cage wolf down? Cage wolf. Worker ant. Draw a card. <gasps> yes! Alright, alright, we're good. GG. No. With sigils? Okay, it's gotta be sigils again, right? Sigils are the easiest first to get. Oh no! Yes! Yes! Thank you, Waffles. Thank you, Waffles. Alright, River Otter, Cat. Ex excuse me? Ex excuse me? That's insane, isn't it? Wait, hold on. That takes a slot, though. Is it worth it to have a slot? To have that on the board? It's gotta be, right? It's three, it's three fucking blood every turn. However, we could also get a wolf cub that spawns ants. Infinite. Alright. When a card being sacrificed is not fair. Yeah, but it can still be killed. Right? Yeah. It can still be killed. So we can still get rid of it, maybe. Alright, so you still have to... Okay, that, that's... It's really good. Let's just get that. Alright. Smoosh or items? Get a card, cost for blood. I think I want smoosh. All right, smoosh. Oh, we can only smoosh the the ant queen. All right, let's do it. I don't really like the ant actually. Should we make the 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 caged wolf be the ant queen? That seems fucking stupid. The worker ant becomes the ant queen. Opossum with with bones becomes the ant queen. I don't know. The ant, ant, queen. Yes, do it. Worker ant becomes the queen. Congratulations on your uh, promotion. All right. Thank you, Bone Lord. Me again. Hey, how's it going? Yes, the cat. Yes, the cat. All right, here we go. All right. <laughs> Holy shit. All right. So, what what do you have? Mighty leap, block. All right, so if I put the squirrel down, I can do the cat and just, I can just clear my whole hand right now, right? All right, so squirrel down into cat. Where do I want to put the cat? There's nothing coming here. Raven egg, that's going to turn into something. I think here for now has the higher chances of, of surviving. And then I want to, I want the wolf and the wolf can go Oh, this gives the, the, the cat some power. Yes, all right. And now we sacrifice that and we put stoat here. All right, cool, all right. I mean, did we just win?
Oh man. All right, definitely. Oh wait, what? Bones? Okay, I think we want we want blood. I don't really like bones. I think we want blood, and blood to go with our cat. What do you mean? The tragic rat king, when their tangled bodies become corpses, you will gain four bones. So when they die, we get four bones instead of one. Okay. Okay, smoosh? Smoosh. What are we smooshing? The rat king. Yeah, that, that, se that seems right. Let's smoosh the rat king, and we're gonna smoosh it on the caged wolf so we get some fucking value from it when it dies I don't know what to do with this caged wolf bones for possum let's just do it all right uh-oh uh-oh the mud tugged hard at your feet, forcing you to slow your pace. A rank odor caused your stomach to churn and your eyes to water. It was the rotting fish that hung from the branches around you. A huge man approached. Go fish. Uh-oh. Yeah, bone lord. All right, cat, cat, cat. <laughs> no! No, we got, we got the black goat. All right, hold on. One second. Hold on. What do we do here? What do we do here? What's the play? What's the play? All right, squirrel into goat, goat into stoat, then smoke into goat, and then goat into caged wolf? I don't know. And then we get the goat back. I kind of want to wait and get... And we're going to have the goat anyway. Do we want to wait until next turn? Pick a card for it? I can't. It's it's not that kind of turn. It's, it's the first turn. Okay, do you fly? Yeah, you fly. I can't block you. But I can put Stoat in front of you, and you will never ever be able to to do damage. That seems like a good play. But do I wanna do I wanna go? Let's squirrel into Stoat. Okay, totally. Fuck you, dude. All right. So now, do we want to smoke into Goat and then Goat into Wolf? That was a misplay, wasn't it? Because I could have. I could have squirreled into goat and then goaded into stoat and I would have got an extra bone. Right? If you stoat before you goat, you guess you get less bones for your boat. You always goat before you stoat. I think I think we skip. I think we're good. I think we I think we just go. Mm, stale fish, hard, ch hard choose. Oh yeah, you you kill cards, don't you? That's not fair. All right, what do we get? Worker ant. Oh, it's not very good. It's not very good. It's not very fucking good, is it? All right, you will you will take whatever new card I put down though. If I smoke, smoke go. Oh, can I make you kill the caged wolf? Because if you kill the caged wolf, maybe you just... Maybe you just kill the cage. I'm doing it. Alright, there we go. There we go. All right, we got so many bones. We can roll the bone. All right, what's gonna happen when you when you kill this? What's gonna happen? Oh. Yo, you idiot! 
That does nothing! Oh, you moron! Alright, what do I do now? Shit. Um, I think I think I just take a squirrel, and next turn I draw a card. Wait, hold on. We we always get into these situations. I c no matter what, I have to draw a card. No, hold on. I don't need to do that. I could get a squirrel, and I could play the worker ant next turn. And he has ant spawner. Shit. I don't know what to do. What if we get waffles? I'm going for it. Waffles. Oh, it's a fucking cat. Oh, it's fucking cat! Cat's so good. Cat is so good. Is it is it worth it to kill Stoat for the cat to get the cat on the board right now? I don't think it is. Also, he's gonna he's gonna take it. He's gonna steal. Let's pass. All stale, hard shoes. Uh oh. Uh oh. Alright, what do I do now? What do I do now? One second. Alright, sorry about the chat. Alright, so let let us let us think back now. Alright, so here here's my controversial opinion. <laughs> I think it's worth it right now to draw instead of getting a squirrel. Because if we get a squirrel, then it's a dead turn. Because wh what the hell are we going to put on the board? We can get a squirrel to get the cat on the board, and then we can get a worker ant on the board. But then he's just going to steal the worker ant. And we do like one damage. We can get an ant though from, from it. We could fill it up with ants. Whereas, if, if we get something good from here right now, we could play the cat, right? Play, sacrifice Stoat, play the cat, play something good, and then just give him the worker ant. And then, like, that's not the worst thing in the world, right? I'm doing it. No! A possum! Oh, wait, hold on. Giving him a, a possum is not the worst thing. Okay, giving him a possum is not the worst thing. And we have the bones to spare. So the question becomes, do we want to place it here get one shitty damage against the bullfrog and then he and then it becomes his card or do we want to place it here and get one free damage on him i think we want to block the bullfrog because otherwise he's gonna have two next turn that's that's gonna be there okay do we want to sacrifice the opossum to get to get a worker ant on the board and give him a worker ant instead i don't think so i don't think so I think I think we go and we draw a card next turn. Draw. Beehive. Wait, why didn't he take the opossum? I'm confused why he didn't take the opossum. Beehive. Do we want to put the beehive down? I don't think we do. One, two, we need to do three damage. We can't get there, we can't get there. Wait, we can, we can do four damage right now. We can do four damage. If, if we sacrifice Stoat, put the cat on the board, and then sacrifice the cat, put the worker ant down, he spawns an ant, sacrifice the cat, put another ant down, ants are now doing two damage each, and that's four damage, boom boom done. However, then he's, I don't know what his next phase is after that, what does he do? We could push him into the next phase right now, but it sacrifices our stoat. Is it worth it to push right now? 
Or do we want to, like, draw more cards and develop the board more? I can't, I can't remember what he does. Is he the one that spawns all the bears? I don't even know how we won that last time. Whereas what we have right now is one, we're, we're going to take two damage and he's going to blast back. I'm passing. Oh, only one damage. All right. All right, let's go. Yes. All right. Waffles is back. Waffles is back. Okay. And we can sacrifice waffles forever. Can we not? So Waffles is back on the menu. Boom. Take me f Oh sh- Do we get to attack first? <laughs> Put the boulder down. Will you take the boulder? Yeah. All right. He's gonna take the boulder. All right. Well, now what? I think I think we just win, right? He's gonna attack. I think. Oh, let's 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 push and see what happens. All right. What what do you do? Go fish. All right. Bait bucket. I feel like you just lost something. What did you lose? Why are you... Oh, you you didn't lose something. You leveled up to a 4-4. Okay, bait bucket. All right, bait buckets sound like after we destroy them, a shark comes instead. That sounds terrifying. Not a big fan of what's going to happen with this fucking bait bucket. All right, Gek. All right, are you going to steal my Gek card if I put it down right now? You are, aren't you? You are. That's that's something that you're gonna do. You know what? I'm just gonna let's just go. Go fish. Alright, we win. GG, right? Bum bum. Eight damage. I just I just pass. BM squirrel. BM cat. Your lives are restored. Oh, thank you. Time to see the Yeti thing again. The prudent pack rat. Never doubt the utility of a well-stocked pack. All right, pack rat's pretty good. Mole man, the stalwart mole man, the ultimate defense. Burrower. And he blocks, oh. Ouroboros, the eternal serpent, death strengthens it de death strengthens it forever. What do you mean? What do you mean? Unkillable. When a card bearing this sigil perishes, a copy of it is created in your hand. What do you mean? What does that mean? Perish okay, what if I sacrifice it? Does that count? Alright, well I'm gonna I'm going with that one. That sounds awesome. Moving past the pond, you continue. You took a deep breath of fresh air and continued on. Hmm, oh yes, I know. The relief of the fresh air quickly gave gave way to a bone shaking chill. You guessed at the path ahead as, as the snow increasingly uh, obscured it. You had climbed to the snow line. What was that on the rock there? Okay. Trial of Power, the three drawn cards must have at least four attack. Health. Wis okay, Wisdom hasn't let us down yet. Come on, come on, Waffles. Oh! 
Yes. Barely, actually, barely. Mole. All right, what's what's this shit? Mole. Mole has burrow and airborne. What? Warren has bees within and rabbit. When a card bearing the sigil is played, a rabbit is created in your hand. Rabbit is defined as zero power, one health. Okay, that's kind of shit. Touch of death. When a card bearing the sigil damages another creature, that creature perishes. Okay, I think the alpha is probably the best one here. We can get some bones from other stuff and can buff some cards. And also it can it can be like a, a poison from, from whatever, right? Like, mole and warren seem pretty bad. All right, what are we taking from here? Some bone tokens for a rainy night. The, that pitiful opossum. F we mean it's frozen. To use a frozen opossum is created in your hand. A frozen opossum is defined as zero power, five health, frozen away. What does frozen mean again? One creature bearing the sigil perishes. A creature inside of it. Okay. All right. So this is a frozen opossum. So it tanks a hit and then becomes a, a, a possum at the end. All right. I think I want. I think I want the money. Okay, black goat. If it's bleeding, yields through blood. You can ignore if you can ignore the bleeding. All right, that's not bad. Another black goat, an emergency black goat in case we need it. I think that's that's probably the best pick here. All right, what do we want to do? A smoosh up here. What's the X again? Man, I need to make notes. What's the X? Oh, X is you get rid of a card. And you get like a like a boon instead. Alright, that seems pretty good. I think I'd rather do that than a smoosh right now. The smooshes haven't been very good lately. Let's do this. Man, someone's really, really, really upset. Alright. Uh stinky. This creature okay, so stinky. Stinky eggs are coming in. All right, worker ant, caged wolf, or okay, what the fuck is this Ouroboros? Okay, I can get the worker ant out for one squirrel. I think that's probably the best play here. Worker ant is worth one blood. Why are you one? Oh, because there's only one ant on the on the field. Okay. Okay, this is not going well. This is not going well. What do I even want right now? You're going to become. These are going to become shit in a second. Oh, fuck. Alright, if we got... If we got a... A squirrel, we could sacrifice it, get a worker ant. That would do two. That would do two. And that would kill this one. We would take one damage back, but we would survive. I think that's what we have to do. Okay, so two, two, all right. I can't put them in front here because otherwise the stink is gonna make it so I don't deal any damage. All right, I think that's that's what we need, we need to do. Oof. Oof. All right, so two, dead. And then you don't do any damage, you're dead then. And you only do one damage and then we take Five, so we're we're dead. Yeah, we're dead unless we we do something drastic right now, which I don't know how we're doing. I mean, I guess we just have to we just have to hope for um for waffles, right? There's nothing else to do apart from hope for waffles. Okay, we top gecked. 
Loose tail. When a card bearing the sigil would be struck, a tail is created in its place and a card bearing the sigil moves to the right. Alright, so we can play the top gek. It's just going to fly over us, though, is the problem. This doesn't change anything. Yeah, in fact, anything I put down is just going to have the same problem because they all fly. We don't have anything that blocks flyers. I think we're I think we're dead. If we use the pliers, do we get another turn? Pliers makes it go up to here. That's going to do two damage, so we'll be here, right? And then five, one, two, three. Okay, pliers would buy us another turn. Hmm. Hold on. Gek buys us another turn too, doesn't it? If if we if we use the gek, then we will be doing. Because we can't hit. No, can we hit the flyer? No, we can't. All right, it doesn't. It doesn't buy us another turn. We can gek and pliers. The gek won't even actually the deck the gek won't even do any damage because they're stinky. They're stinky ravens. Fuck. Why is caged wolf so useless? Alright, either way, I'm putting the Gek down, and I'm going to use the pliers. Oh, man. Alright, and by my uh, craculations, we should be here next turn. And we can live another day, which isn't going to go well, but let's see what happens. Okay. If we get a squirrel, we're we're wrecked. So we can't get a squirrel. We just have to hope that we get waffles, pretty much. We got alpha. Alpha can kill you. No, it won't. Because you need to damage, and you're going to be stinky. I think it's GG. I think it's GG. It's GG. It's GG. I'm curious though, what is this Ouroboros? It said it, it gets more powerful if you if it dies. So if I put Alpha down right now, I have enough bones. Alpha, and then sacrifice Alpha and Gek to put Ouroboros on here. And then sacrifice Ouroboros and Worker Ant to put the Cage Wolf down. Will that count as a death? Did. Now it's a 2 2. Chat, if I get the black goat, if I get a black goat, a cat, and Ouroboros on the field, can't I just do this forever? Okay, we're gonna we're gonna be fine though, right? Because we have a life. I think we're okay. Man, this this was a hard battle. That was harder than the bosses. Will, when will a worthy challenger appear? A appear. All right, blood. 
fucking bones. All right, do we want bones or two? I think we want two blood. Oh, adder, nice. Okay, I'm putting the fucking cage wolf in this thing. The cage wolf is a, is a, is annoying. Stop this. All right, cage wolf for sure, right? Cage wolf. Free the wolf statue from its cage. What? What was that? You have to hit that four times. You have to. I want to kill these eggs, so I want to put a two out. How the fuck do I do that? How do I put a two out? Okay, I can put the squirrel and the gek down to get an Ouroboros out. Ouroboros is going to do two damage to the egg, kill it, and then I only have to deal with one egg. Or I could, I could gek, squirrel the goat and get Ouroboros out and then I have Ouroboros no that's 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 not good is it I think it's better to have Ouroboros hit this thing do two damage kill it next turn and then deal with this one next turn after that right yeah let's do it okay there we go Why are these rounds so hard? Holy shit. Okay, um, like every single turn I'm like, I, I just, I guess I hope I, I get waffle. <laughs> oh man, I could get, so, I could get something that costs bones. Like no matter what, I could get a squirrel and put the squirrel down and then that's going to give me bees, right? But there's nothing attacking this turn, so it doesn't really matter. Wait, is it going to hatch and then attack? Eh, let's do it. It flies. God damn it. It fucking fly. Of course it flies. Of course it flies. It's a raven egg. It said it's a raven egg. Of course it flies. All right, I think we get two squirrels and then we can put the Ouroboros back on. I think it's GG though. Fuck. Is that ever gonna work? This is gonna hatch. That's gonna kill it, but also kill itself. If we do squirrel and squirrel again, we can put a 3-3 three, three on next turn. 3-3 three, three will go down, and in that time we're gonna take two damage, four damage, another two damage, while not really doing any damage back. I, th I think maybe we have to do this, and then we could possibly do this next turn, break the goat. Stoat. We got stoat. We could sacrifice. We could sacrifice the beehive for stoat. Stoat's not going to attack 
Stoat's not going to be able to kill a Raven Egg. And it's going to take multiple turns. So Stoat's only really good to... To get something else back on the board after... Um, no, that's not. that doesn't make sense. What am I, what am I saying? Stoat can reduce the damage of the Raven to 1. But I would have to sacrifice the Beehive to do it. Is the Beehive ever going to tank a hit? In two turns, one, two, three turns, one, two, three, the Beehive will move over here and tank it. I think we have to do it. Alright, is there anything is there anything we could possibly do right now to win? I don't think so. Now this is a 3-3. Three, three. If we got a if we got a squirrel and then broke open the black goat, we could get Ouroboros back on, on the board. That's gonna no, he's gonna do one damage. We have to do damage. No, it's not going to work. We have to hope to get... Even Waffles, I don't... Th I think it's GG. Even Waffles isn't going to do it. Black Goat. Alright. Joe thing. There's no, like, I'm gonna die. Even if I loop it, I can't, it's not gonna work. I'm gonna die. Over damage doesn't go to him, right? It, it won't work. It might be fun to see what happens, though. What's, what's the play? We sacrifice the goat, so we, fa we sacrifice stoat to get the goat, right? We play the goat, then we sacrifice the goat to do put an Ouroboros, then we sacrifice Ouroboros to put the goat, then we sacrifice the goat to do Ouroboros, and we just keep going like that and see what happens. But it's like it's not it's not going to um it's not gonna overkill the boss, unfortunately. If I put another boat ah, the fucking flyers are really annoying. I mean let's still try it and see what happens. <laughs> so I guess the question becomes is when it when it said permanently does it mean for all runs or just this one? there was like a fucking like <sighs> an empty lane right now or Boris would just like just fucking punch through like god damn it
All right, can we get it to double digits? Oh, sorry, triple digits? Every day is great at your June ass. Every day is good at your June Is this a Joe moment? What the fuck is a Joe moment? And why isn't it called a Joe moment? What do you mean a Joe, mo Joe moment? There's an ad. Well, that sucked. So do you know what I think fucked this here? I think getting all those cards from, from the puzzle box just put too much shit in our deck. It was fun to do it though, but just so much shit in the deck. A good time to tell you how you could have won this on, on turn two. I don't, I don't think that's true. I think you're just trying to make me feel bad. How are you doing? Um, Evolve uh, has slowed down a little bit. I, I'm i doing a bunch of like mads and stuff. I've done every single mad I could possibly do in heavy now, so I'm happy about that, but it's been slow going. It was really, 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 really boring. So I was just checking in um, even less than I was before and just queuing and then walking away, so super inefficient. Wait, the, the, the coins are coming onto the board now. Man, if only we had a fan. If we had a fan right now, we could we could make the Ouroboros fly, and oh man. Hold on, is it gonna autoplay something? Oh no, it's just gonna continue. Well, at least the sparrow is gonna die.
nice, yep, nice, nice. Games are meant to be fun. Just, I'm having fun right now. I'm, I'm, I'm seeing like how high this can go. I am having fun. I need to get one of those uh, fun monitors like and hook up to the stream so everyone knows I'm having fun. One more. If you can do triple digits, please don't go for four. Trying to do the uh, the old reverse psychology on me, eh? Because you want me to see the the quad digits. You don't have to do that. It's fine. We can we can see. Playing the beehive was the big mistake. If I hadn't played the beehive, maybe we could have won this. I keep forgetting about the flyers. Two days left before Armored Core comes. Who gives a shit about Armored Core? What are the diehard From Software fans who who are only in it for like Dark Souls gonna feel when they play that game and and it turns out that they don't like it? Which is not the game's fault. It's a different kind of game. Are they gonna? Are they just gonna pretend like oh, I'm having a good time? Don't worry. Like it's oh, it's fucking great. Like like what, what's what are you gonna do? All right, here we go. Ooh, it can go to 100. Can it go to 101? Oh, it can. All right, so what do we do? It's not gonna kill him, right? Is there anything we can possibly do? Look at all those coins. I mean, we can add four more coins to the pile. There we go. We could put another goat down. You only draw at the beginning of your turn. Lame. All right. <sighs> the bone counter. Stay there, no need to move. I'm afraid you are not dead yet. Hold still. And where did I put that camera of mine? Cringe collection? Oh, here it is. Pathetic. Do you really think I would leave film in there? Do you have any idea what that camera is capable of? Give me that. Oh, is that how you make your cards? We have a memento, a memento to create. Morbing? Behold, your death card. We did this already. Shall we begin to ink it? What do you mean? Please choose a card to, to draw the cost from. Oh, is it different every turn? Aw, oh, goddammit. We really wasted our, uh, our, our last one then.
Lame. All right, let's go with uh, with black goat because it's only one one blood. Cost of one blood. Okay. And another. This this time I will use its power and health the numbers. All right. I guess the wolf. This kind of sucks. All right. And then the sigil. I guess the death one. Although if we get one of these and move it to the left, it'll go left, right, left, right, left, right. Hmm. I guess the death one. I never got asked for your name. Are we someone else? Okay, so last time it was Waffles Card Upon. I don't think we want to do that. This is an OC. Yeah, this is not OC. Someone said no C. Yeah, no C is pretty good. No C. It's because of no C. All right, can we like no C like that? It's because of no C. One thing now remains. I must capture your visage. Say cheese. Man, I'm upset. We had some really good cards that run, and to lose it like that. Just too many shit cards in the deck. I had such high hopes for that last one. Why do I bother trying to teach you? You, you will learn as we go, or you will die. Uh oh, a gift from the angler. You see, he was defeated recently and wishes to redeem himself. It would be unfortunate if you were to fall to the prospector before he was given that chance. That's, that's a neat way of justifying that. This hook is powerful. You may steal one of my cards with it. For that reason, you will not find any others along the path. Use it wisely. Okay, so there's only one time. It seems the lowly stink bug has made its way in. But it is, it is dealt, so it stands. Alright, so we just got these four cards. Or are we... Wait, what are we doing? Are we st stealing... Oh. Okay. Oh, is there a different one every single time? No. We got these before, right? Oh. Teeth. That's good. Squirrel. Black goat. <laughs> Alright, what does this do? I finally pried my special dagger from the paws of that squirrel, though you may wish that you hadn't. Okay. And now what do we do with it? This time for sure. This time for sure. More smoke? Oh. What's the dagger for? Oh, it's here. That one's only for card dueling. I'll let you use that, but not now. What? It's an upgrade? If I click this enough, will something happen? I wonder if a lot of this was inspired by like clicking on shit in Hearthstone. 
like having an interactable room and saying we have an interactable board in Hearthstone. See, the, the crack is getting bigger. Nah, it's not doing shit. Why are these here? Sacrificing this would give us four blood. Does that mean something? Four blood. not choose a specific beast. Instead, you must now decide on a tribe that you prefer. What? Are those the ants? I fucking hate the ants. Okay, so I'm guessing that's ants. That's wolves? And elk? I think I like the wolves. Let's go wolves. The Dauntless Bloodhound, it leaps to oppose new creatures when they are played. Hmm. Okay. A randomly chosen canine card. Okay, so canine. Did you wish for something else? Can I... Can I go back if I did? woman emerged from behind an oak tree. She carefully laid out intricate wood carvings and gestured at them br brusquely. Choose. It's time to choose. It's time to choose. Oh, we get one of our our own shit now. Alright, so this blocks air. This makes ants. Okay, that can make a lot of ants. I don't think we want that though. And this makes stinky. Alright. I feel like maybe this one's the best because we died from it last time, but like the ant's bad. Stinky's not bad either. Stinky, stinky reducing um, some shit. We have the forearm mark. Should we stop here before a new one goes on? Yeah, I just want to. I just want to see what what the dagger does, and then we'll stop if it tells me what it is. Definitely one of these two. See, this is situational, whereas this is always useful. How often can we use this? Let's go with this one. The old woman bared her teeth in satisfaction. Your first totem was complete. The stinky sigil will now be marked upon all your squirrel creatures. Oh. Oh. Well, that, that kind of sucks. How do I get a wolf one? Yay, thank you so much. Nice top. Th yeah, fuck you, dude. Yes, so strange. Why can't I remember his name? I believe I lost some of my memory in the flash. Oh, so you, so you got turned into a card. All right, so that's that confirmed. Coyote, porcupine. How do I, what's, what does this do? You will place a weight on the scales. The pain is temp... Uh-oh. Uh-oh.
Alright, we win. GG. Believe it or not, you're not the first to lose an eye here. This isn't much fun if you're half blind. Perhaps you'd like to replace it? Okay, well that one looks special. Fill your empty socket with something magical. Find salvation. Cuckoo clock. One? What's that? Find salvation in... Cuckoo. Better? 1-1? One, one? What's that? Are these numbers or are they just kind of kind of weird kind of trails? Regardless, the choice is final. Oh, one. What? All we had to do was cycle the fucking second hand and we would have fucking had it? What? Take the film roll before he sees it. Now. What are you doing over there? Turn to face me. What are you up to over there? Hello? Hi. I'm good. Okay, there's got to be another one here, right? If we open it. Something about 11. What's the film roll for? That's what it was. Cuckoo clocks usually come out like on the hour, right? But we did that before and it didn't work. No. Maybe it doesn't open. How do I use the film roll? Nothing new on here. Anything new in here? What's this here for? 
This is strange. One. I think so. Whoops. We put them all in one before already, didn't we? It didn't work. Why would you... I don't get it. I feel like I should be able to do something right now. Oh well, let's keep moving on. I think we're gonna stop though. What do we get for the next one? We get to pick a card. What? Bird, canine, or lizard? Add, okay. Once the ancient woman creaked and groaned as she approached. With gently shaking hands, she placed her offerings before you. Oh. Oh, okay. So we can switch what head we have on it, or we can switch with the bottom one that we have. So this will make all of our birds have stinky instead, and this will make all of our... What's this one? Oh. Uh, Oldman collected her pieces and shuffled off into the darkness. I ought to thank you. How has it been? It is quite... Who, who the fuck are you? I am trapped in the body of a stoat. In the paper of a card. I see that. And I have, of course, set up a way to reset. Once more. Go on. Our player friend here, they already hold the key. Okay. You gonna, you gonna explain for the, to the rest of the class? No? No, we're good? Okay. Oh man, that's really good. Okay, putting him there will do two. This is going to do two damage back. Uh, I don't know if we want to kill it. It's going to take two turns to kill it. That's, that kind of sucks. And yeah, what else are we going to do? Here we are. Actually, I'm pretty sure we can just like win here, right? If we just keep keep pressure on. Yeah, we just we just win next turn now, don't we? No, we don't. We don't win next turn. Maybe now we win next turn. 
There we go. All right. I'll be darned. You, you came across me early. Care for a game of chance? Pick a boulder and I'll break it. If it's gold, it's yours. All right. Show me your strike. The right one again. The right one again. Yes! It's gold! Golden pelt. Nice. I can barely abide giving it to you. But a promise is a promise where I'm from. All right. Nice. All right. Where's the store? I can't remember the store. The trapper is not the store, and this is this is a smoosh. All right, let's let's end with a smoosh. We enjoy the smooshes. Maybe the the one to the right was the uh, was the store. Maybe I just fucked up. I don't know. All right. What are we smooshing? Smooshing a instant kill onto the bullfrog might be good because two, then it's a one instead of a two. Yeah, I think we should do this. <laughs> oh, maybe we want to put it on stoat. Stoat's one, and then that's really good, isn't it? Did that. <laughs> Fine choice. Okay, was that the store? Shit. I, I'm so bad at remembering what all these are. Anyway. Alright, I think that's it from everyone. Four hour streams, we're already about a bit over time. Uh, before I go, let me say thank you to some people. Oh wow, there's a lot. Thank you, Yeezus taught me for the resub. Thank you, Cafe, Cafe Ersatz GG. Not sure if that's right or not. Thank you for the resub. Thank you also to DD Doe, Dark Sleeve, Hugs and Misses, Captain Duck One Three One Three, Lanciferp, actually called Eric <laughs> FML, <laughs> Waffles Mac or Waffle Smack, Bazooka Tooth. Tipsy Phoenix, Lure underscore, Scorpiary, Manic Pixie Dream Gun, oh nice, Rex Yaldaboeth, Schluter for the new sub, welcome Schluter, welcome, welcome, and thank you to Life Tag also for the resub, thank you very much. Anyway, uh, so I love this game. This game is really cool so far. I don't know how many how many of these runs we're gonna have to do to finish the game. I could see this potentially getting very tiresome. Um, as we saw in the last run, it seems to be that there's there's some randomness to it too, which was a, a bit unfortunate. Although I will also very quickly like like concede that I'm not playing all that well, um, but. Like, I, I feel like the first run I got really, really lucky, and I feel like in the last run I got kind of unlucky, uh, independent of skill level, you know? Like, so I feel like that might be a little annoying, but so we'll see how it goes. I really like everything to do when you walk away from the board and you're looking through the room. That's really interesting. I wonder where it's going to go. But really unique, really cool, really cool idea. I like it a lot. So, so far, uh, I'm, I'm really enjoying it. Really cool game. Uh, I'm gonna have to pay more attention to what all these mean though because I feel like I, I, I'm the choices here are really really important I really want to see if, what happens when you get Ouroboros back if uh, if Ouroboros is gonna have those boosts probably not I'm gonna guess not I'm gonna guess not anyway that's it for me I'll see you tomorrow We'll continue this uh, some more. Uh, if we don't finish it in time on Friday, I might do an extra stream. I'm not going to push late on a stream, but I might do an extra stream um, and uh, get it done. And then uh, and then we'll start Armored Core on Friday. Because I want to start, I want to play Armored Core on release day. Because I, um, uh, fuck. Uh, I think a lot of people might want to watch this stream to see if it's a game that's interesting to them through through me playing it. And I don't really know if we're going to continue playing that more than one or two streams anyway. But we'll see. If I like it, I like it. We'll see. Anyway, that's it. See you later. Have a great rest of your night.